female pyramid head. It's 2022. Have you seen the Jessica Nagiri cosplay of pyramid head? No, I actually haven't. Femme pyramid head is hot. Booty slap. Let's go. This is the run. Good thing. Dude, good thing. Got a booty slap. If I, if I switched to male, we wouldn't have gotten that. You know we wouldn't have gotten it. Should we get the, uh, yeah, let's get the Molotov cocktails here. We'll burn Gascoigne if we can. We like to burn them. Molotov cocktails. There they are. Good morning, Swoop Bandy. There should be a your mom emote. I can't put into text what I do with your moms. Into emote form? No, no, no. Twitch would never allow that. That's against TOS. Look, see, it was meant to be. You're right, Reese. You're right. It was definitely meant to be. Don't you have to do Alfred's quest for the Ardeo? Yes, I do. Yep, we'll be doing that. All right, we'll get the cleaver and the cane. And we'll get the pistola. Let's warp on back. Screw the TOS. I thought this was America. It is America, and the corporations control everything we do. How about a Y emoji? Unless there's one already. I like to, I like to stay away from, from text-based emojis. A few here and there are fine, but... Let's jump off. Lock on, dash forward, and unlock to pick up the fastest mollies in the business. They're already equipped. You didn't even see it. I still got it. Still got it. I mean, they put the entire Morbius movie into uh, emote form on BTTV. Well, that's BTTV, right? That's not, that's not Twitch.tv. That's not Justin TV. That's not Hazy TV. Hazy T. You know where I'm at? You know where I be, you in the nightmare, just to party. I'm here, I get paid a fee. I be in and out the dream so much the doll be tired of me. Honestly, don't give a trick about who ain't fond of me. Drop two records in six months, who's hunting beasts as hot as me? I don't bother with them souls, don't let speed souls bother me. They see pictures, they see goals, which I'm who they're trying to be. Yo! Ha <laughs> ha! Got it. I... Still got it. How about Miyazaki's dildo emote? Oh, I love Twitch. <laughs> whiff! Whiff him! Oh, Jesus Christ, he hit me! Is that rap music? I was upstairs listening to my Will Smith CD. Burn him! Fire crotch! Booty slap. Get that rally, baby. Get that rally, baby. Burn the crotch. Yeah, baby. Give me that face. Wait. There it is. Sometimes it's hard to find the hole. Wait. Hold on. Watch these booty slaps. Booty slap, booty slap, booty slap, booty slap, booty slap. You've never seen so booty slaps. <laughs> You've never seen so many booty slaps. Backhanded. I'm not letting that touch me. Scooching. Scooching. The triple scooch right here, baby. Kill him in the crotch. Fire crotch for the kill. You're here for the booty slaps, not gonna lie. Hey, I expect you not to lie to me. You're in the presence of a god. Just blood god things. Our chief knows how it is. How's it is? Was Zeus an MC before streaming? That was great. Oh, I actually, I, I, I plan on transitioning my career from Twitch to a full-on rap career very soon. Just so you know, my my mixtape is dropping in a few months. I need to do a DBD challenge, but uh, well, no, you don't need to do a DBD challenge. No, that is not something you need to do. In fact, you, you need to uninstall the game and never play it again. Uninstall it. You do not need it.
Zeus planning on transitioning confirmed. You heard it from Mitch P. 1983 himself. Luca Devil Jinx with the 200 bits. Oh, damn. Now she's going to hold a grudge for uh, the next 16 years on you. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, Luca. There we go. Get those oil urns. Hold on. There they are. Okay. Good, 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 good. My guy's going to rap about how living in the Yardum Street was hard at first. You know it, dude. I I'm actually going to drop a whole album of uh, Bloodborne raps. May I ask what gender you are and what are your pronouns? Lord slash God. Had fun with Neo. Oh yeah, I'll be playing. I'll be. I'll be playing more Neo at the end of this run today. I'll be playing more. Blood raps, mumble rap. <laughs> You'd pick up the mixtape? Everyone would. I mean, it's straight fire. Just, just wait. I'm waiting for Bloodborne 2. Oh, that's an ad. That's an ad. I, got, I, I mentioned Bloodborne 2. I'm sorry. When's the Bloodborne remaster? Oh, that's another ad. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, I'll run the ads after the, uh, after the, uh, the, the boss fight here. My bad. My bad, guys. I think it's funny how Zeus calls the enemies in the water Michael Phelps. I do. They got a great butterfly stroke. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? One. Two. Three. Four. Got him. Do it. What? It was... Wait. That was not the move you normally... Oh, my God. He got me. He got me. Come on, do the thing. Do it. There's my backstab. Oh, what's that smell? The sweet There's my double backstab. Oh, it seems to me. It's enough to make a man sick. There's my triple backstab. First phase Gascoigne like it's nothing. The blood god strikes again. Yo, Venture Blob, how's it going, man? Incredible. I've played this game before. Hashtag, that's an ad. Hey, you ask, you receive. That damage is nuts. Hey, I'm RPGsing, man. I use the oil urns. I use the, the, the counter hit. Uh, uh, I, use, I use the Molly Tovs. That's it. Using all of the, the game's mechanics at once to RPGs your way into victory. Zero deaths. I'm not dying this entire playthrough. Not even getting hit. This is a hitless run. Have you ever played Dark Souls? Oh, I've been playing these games since Demon Souls. I played every game like so many times, dude. So many times. Hey, buddy. I don't, I don't really need to do this, but I'm doing it anyway, just in case. You never know if I'll need some extra insight. I really don't need insight, but I like coming over here. It's kind of fun. Whoopsies. Oh, God. Dude, that... What is going... What is... Frack you, video game. Frack... Dude, I'm locking on to the big... I'm killing you now. I'm killing you. Watch, he's got the bone. You see that bone sticking out the leg? I get the visceral. You gotta hit the bone. Go for the bone. It's Elden Ring. I jumped, you see that? Oh, I was hoping I would get a thing. I didn't get a thing though. Oh well. All about that bone. You never noticed the bone before? I actually, that's one thing that I, I, I learned about that. This, now, this was years ago uh, from Maximilian Dude. I saw, I saw him attack the bone first, and I was like, oh, wait. You could do that? Ho, ho, ho. Good hunter with the 100 bits. Thank you so much. My legend. Ah. <sighs> 
RP Jesus is your cosplay baller name on the court? Hey, Gearbonk. Your bars slap harder than the boot slap? I do got bars, man. I'm serious. Bloodborne raps are coming. Maximilian dudes, fun people. He actually came by my stream once. I was excited about it, but it was it was bad timing because I was in a terrible mood. <laughs> I was I was so mad that day. I just couldn't. It was one of those days where I couldn't play video games at all. Hey, Brecco, how's it going? That happens to me every now and then. I just I just load up the games and I just can't play them. I don't know what it is. Zeus trained Eminem. I could definitely demolish Eminem on the mic, uh, but here, here, I'm a. I would need to be handicapped. So I, or I would actually need him to be handicapped. So he's got to think of the raps, all from his dome ski. But I, I, sh I should get time to work on them beforehand. I'll have pre-written raps, and he could, he could make them up on the fly, and then we'll battle. That, that's the only way I'll agree to it. Cause just cause he's got like sixty, he's like sixty now, right? He's, he's very old. He's got like sixty years of rapping experience under his belt. Got him. Where you think you're going? Hey, Smaticus, how's it going? Good morning, Luco Truco. Everybody's coming in. Eminem will turn 50 this year. Got him, old. Have you heard this thing about the bosses in the game having programmed moods? Programmed moods. No, I've not, I've not heard about that. What, what, is, what is a programmed mood? <laughs> Thought M was only 50? Uh, listen, I'm 5,006 years old. A decade is pretty much an inconsequential amount of time for me. Hey, Roger. It's going great. Just picking up some ritual blood from the altar. How are you doing? What's your advice for someone whom is struggling to get through Bloodborne? Uh, basically, my advice would be to fight normal en enemies to the point where you can fight them without, without getting hit. Notice, notice that their, their arm is going to move backwards and then forward at some time. As soon as they start moving forward, that's when you want to dodge. All right, so practice your normal enemies. And then when you find bosses, when you've done your practice, do the same, do the same thing for bosses. Focus on, on the, the attacking hand. And as soon as it moves forward, that's when you dodge. Also, try not to, when you find a boss, try not to, try not to heal during it. Try not to use your buffs and stuff like that. And just fight the boss a bunch of times until you can you can dodge their attacks for like a minute or two without dying and then once you could do that then then fight the boss with your buffs a lot of people they get bogged down because they they don't realize that this is an rpg but it's also part survival horror you need to worry about your consumable items like your blood vials and they end up just getting rid of all of them they just, they just get rid of all of them. You don't want to do that. Save them until you know you can survive. Insomniac with a six-month resubscription. Thanks so much, Insomniac. Hey, Susie. Really? Oh, I guess she hit me. Oh, get that booty slap. We'll heal action here. Where do you think you're jumping to, lady? Oh, the back swipe got me. Nice job.
Faked her out with the gunshot. Got my backstab. Double it up, baby. Oh, got the trick attack counter hit damage. Very nice. Very, very Gucci. All right, two bosses down. Is this boss actually female? I, I mean, I call it Susie's skin flaps. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so Cathedral Ward time. Lady Less with a 17-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks, lady. Ooh, you took my breath away. Bloodstarved Beast was a huge roadblock. Yeah, the slow poisoning, it seems to get a lot of people. A lot of people. Ooh, free Quicksilver bullets. Don't mind if I do. I needed a full set of 20. So I'm just going to run up here real quick and get this badge. Uh, the badge is, it has the weapon that we're going to want to buy and use. I'm going to go around this way. It's a little bit safer. This could be a no death run. Well, listen, I, I could beat the game no death, no problem if I'm trying. I don't know if I'll be trying the whole time. Now, also, we, we are doing some pretty hard chalices, so it's very easy to make a mistake in the chalices. All right. There's that Radiant Sword Hunter badge. And you know what? We can just put these on here and go back. I'll get the weapon, we'll upgrade the weapon, and then we'll just use it. Then we'll just use it. I gotta remember, I gotta do Alfred's quest line as soon as possible. I gotta get the Graveguard set and the Butcher set, which means an early DLC run through, at least up until Ludwig. So that won't be too bad. What is, hold on, there's a, there's a rune around here. Well, not, it's, it's the other way, but <laughs> left, right. Bully with the brand new subscription. Welcome in. Thanks for that brand new sub. I mainly just wanted to get the, uh, the pots for the, the messengers. I love those little pots. What weapon for Pyramid Head? We're going to use the, uh, the Ludwig Blade. Let's actually go buy that right now. Because Pyramid Head's got a... He's got a big, big, giant sword. Got a big, big sword. I got I to gotta buy it. Purchase. 20k? 20k, bro. Oh, I don't have enough. All right. I got to get the doll set first. I just don't have enough yet. A pyramid head mod would be sick. That's what, I might play Silent Hill 2 this October. I know there's like an emulator for it. I, I've never played a Silent Hill game and people always tell me to play it. And I think Pyramid Head is pretty solid. I've, I've seen some like scenes from, from Silent Hill and it seems like it was a, a pretty good game. Yo, what? Yeah, I never played it. Never played it. I heard that's when Kojima actually made good games. Could be wrong though. You either, but you love the monsters in design. Yeah, it all seems really cool. 
Silent Hill 2 is the best. No, Bloodborne's the best, but we, 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 can, we can accept Silent Hill 2 and see what it's like. Uh, that seems like 17 HP to me. 24? I'm raging. Silent Hill 2 is the best Silent Hill game. Kojima wasn't involved for them? Oh, really? Oh, never mind then. He really wasn't involved in the Silent Hill games? Wow, so he really has never made a good game, huh? Breaking Bad is amazing. Out of context, but I agree. He, work, he worked on the canceled Silent Hill game. Oh. That's the same thing. Definitely the same thing. If you do play Silent Hill 2, I'd recommend looking into the Enhanced Edition. It's a bunch of fan-made updates, mods, to make it look amazing. Uh, Nifty, can you whisper me on Twitch, like, a link to that? I would be happy to check it out. Are you watching Better Call Saul? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any of the new seasons. I watched like two seasons of it though. Metal Gear Solid series was a masterpiece. I, I don't know. Maybe for its time period. Sure. Stealth games d don't really seem like masterpieces to me, though. How are you moving through the game so fast? This is actually slow. I could, I could do this much faster. <laughs> Oh, wait. Should I fight? Eh, you know what? I'll just fight her like this. It doesn't matter. Well, you guys you guys decide. Do you want me to go back and get the Ludwig's Blade and fight her? Or just fight her here? Get it? Up to you. Get the blade. Ludwig's? All right. Hey, Rex. How's it going, man? I didn't see your message. Thief the Dark Project? You, dude, you always bring out these games that I've never even heard of. I never heard of Thief. Get the blade. I'm, I'm already getting it. I'm already getting it. It's too late. To be fair with the Metal Gear Solid series, the reason you like it is because of the controls and the mechanics. You can move around without it being stiff. So, okay, so for those of you who are Metal, Metal Gear Solid fanboys, should I start with Metal Gear Solid? Should I, should I absolutely start with that? If, if I was going to give it a shot. Or should I start with two? Absolutely not start with five. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I'm not I'm not I am definitely not starting with the, the last one that does that makes zero sense whatsoever. There's the blade. Okay, and I can't use it. I need 16 strength to use it first. Thief was a fun as hell game, first person stealth action game. Ah. There we go. Okay. Fortify. Oh, I don't have any gems. Thunk. Cool. 
And you know what? We got 5k left over. Might as well go and use them. Get some blood. Get some blood. So, Cathedral Ward, we will fight the beast. Etikel is with the 15-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks for all your content, man. You're the best on Twitch. Tell him. Thanks for the 15 months, man. Don't think I've ever seen you use LUDs. I've actually, I, I used it very, very recently, which is not something I typically do. But someone suggested doing a pyramid cosplay, and I told him I'd do it, so here we are using it again. I don't need that. What am I trying to get that for? I still remember when you used it on Max New Game. It's so broken. Oh, yeah. Th this weapon is very, very strong. Is weapon scaling to S rank better than using just physical gems? I'm talking about using the Abyssal with 60 plus scaling. Go to bloodborne-wiki.com, man. Depending on the weapon, certain gems will be better than others. It's, it, it's all going to be depending on the weapon there. See how much damage I do without Beast Blood Pellets? Not enough. That's for sure. Get around there. Whew. Those were some pretty stanky booty slaps. All right, I need some fire paper too, man. This is, I'm doing a lot less damage than I thought I would be doing. Oh, I missed the charge. Dude, I'm with... This is Jesus Whiff City right here. Whew. I was playing for a stagger there. Back to back staggers. One free hit. Nice. I didn't. I didn't. Dude, give it to me. Damn. Heal action. That's a nice jump move. Hit her in the head. Go for the thrust. What? Heal, buddy. Damn it, man. That's okay. Scooching. Oh, she just tapped me there. Dude, I thought she was going to heal. Booty slapper. That's a back. Oh, surprise that missed. I was dead there if I missed that. I was dead there. Greed. Whew. See, as you can see right there, that was this is a plus three Ludwig's. Ludwig's takes a little while to get going. Whereas a saw cleaver, I could use a plus zero saw cleaver on her and just decimate her. All right, let's go. We'll light the forbidden woods lamp. And then we got some stuff to get. Saw Cleaver's OP, and that's the proof. Now, the, I could optimize that fight a little bit better. I could definitely start with uh, the Fire Paper and the Beast Blood Pellet and make it better than it was. But that's, yeah, that's just kind of what I'm talking about. Yeah, Saw Cleaver has the Serrated bonus, which does extra damage against beasts. Give me the beast. My internet keeps making you cut out. So I'm going to tell my parents that you need better Wi-Fi. Oh, dude. If you can't watch my stream flawlessly, you definitely need to demand your parents pay for better internet. Absolutely. Oh, my guy's not here. I got to come back here. It's fine. I, gotta, I, gotta, it does, I don't need to talk to him or anything. 
I need to just uh, send him to Kanehurst when I get the thing. Why not the Whirligig for serrated damage? I'm doing a pyramid head cosplay, dude. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm using a specific weapon. But the Whirligig saw is definitely jacked. All right. We'll get the DLC item here. Now, what... What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Oh, we could take that off. That That's at least one piece. We could upgrade this to plus four. That's two pieces. Put in the blood gems here. Good, 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 good. I don't need any of that. I don't... We can get some levels, I suppose. Eighteen and twenty works for me. All right, we got a chalice to go through. True all bosses, baby. True all bosses. Hey, DLB, how's it going, dude? I just got very thirsty. Oh, I guess I have some coffee. There it is. Okay, so. Where do we need to go here? Chalice on New Game? That's new. So this is a run that I came up with. It, I call it True All Bosses TM. It is... The, it, the design of it is to be glitchless. Do most of the chalices... As kind of as early as you can until you hit the point where you can't really do anymore and do it in one single new game so I got to physically pick up all of the items and navigate the chalices as opposed to just being able to buy them on new game plus so it's a little bit of a different setup I guess I could just walk back. Good morning, Krusty Muffin. You swear Undead Giant screwed you up the first time? And that was after all the main bosses? He is tough, dude. He hits hard. There, there is absolutely nothing wrong with getting fracked by that guy. Trust me. Yo, Django with the $5 sacrifice, you goddamn legend. Thanks, Django. I've played through Bloodborne over 100 times, but I've never tried the Lost Tour Uncanny Weapons. Do you think they're worth checking out, and how do you feel about them versus the normal versions? So the thing with those weapons... Oh, God. The thing with those weapons is that... Those are for specific gem slots. So if certain weapons aren't actually very good until you get decent gems on them, and some of those gems are hard to find, so that's why you go with different gem slots for them. That was close. I don't know how much damage that front kick would do to me. Oh, really? Okay. I could jump too, buddy. It's Elden Ring now. We're Elden Ring now, boys. He's bleeding. 
Scoochin! There he is. Cool. And I was able to save a pellet there. That was nice. This boss has a birthday cake on his back? You're not wrong, actually. <laughs> Oh, I triggered the trap card. How long does an all bosses run in Bloodborne take? A little over an hour. But this is a true all bosses. This will take a, a lot longer. Ooh, the whiff! Did you hear about the fish banker? He's officially retired. Thanks, Luga. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> you restarted Elden Ring again, and after a few playthroughs, learned all of these baits a lot of bosses have, and it's making the game so much more trivial. While it makes fights a little longer, I haven't even bothered to upgrade anything. Dude, OG status. So I need to go back to that sack man and get another ritual blood. I, I need to get a ritual blood from him. I need him to drop one. And this way, right? Knowledge is power. Oh, I can't rest. Dude, I've been playing so much Dark Souls. I've been playing so much Dark Souls. I can't just rest at the lamp. You wanted to work out with Neo, but Bloodborne's fine. We will be playing Neo later on. Oh no, two. Oh, I did the wrong thing. I didn't get the lamp. I didn't get the lamp. I'm so used to the, uh, I was supposed to the ladder tether there. Oh well. The merciless watcher that just endlessly rolls around is your favorite chalice dungeon enemy of all time. Oh, he's such a cool enemy. I love that guy. He's naked, he's fat, he's got a big-ass mace, he rolls around like any Dark Souls boss or enemy or NPC, whatever you want to call, it's great. Chuggle is, good morning. Am I late? You just got the notification? Yeah, we've only been streaming an hour and a half. At, le at least Twitch sent it out today. He got a booty? You know it. Oh, I gotta stop doing that. Coming back to Bloodborne, you just keep trying to sit at the lamp? Oh, dude. I do that all the time. I gotta see if there's another ritual blood to pick up. I, I forgot to look for it last time. Cause I don't, I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to guarantee, like, rely on this guy to drop it. Nice. Scissors for Lefty with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome in. Thanks for that brand new sub. So we learned something. Don't trigger the traps. We learned something there. Yeah, don't want to trigger that trap. Uh-uh. Not a good trap to trigger. Goodbye, Deathless Run. No, that's still it's still Deathless. That doesn't count because I didn't die to a boss. 
Frack, the traps again. Damn it, man. Can I ask for help, please? My wife thinks an hour a day gaming is too much. I have no other hobbies. What should I do? Uh... I would sit down and have a, a serious conversation with your wife about how you need time to do whatever the hell you want to do. Um, now, you, now, you can't game for like 10 hours and be married, but the idea that you're not allowed to do what you want does not sound like a good, healthy relationship. People, people are saying get a new wife, but and they're saying that as a joke. And you shouldn't be thinking about getting a new wife right now, but that's just, that's, that's unacceptable as far as I'm concerned. Damn it, and I didn't get one? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I need I need I need to I need to find another one of these. I can't I can't farm in the beginning of this run. This is terrible. There's only there's only two there's two two farming things that I need. I just need to figure out where to where to get that th these two items. That's it. Everything else I've figured out. Control is in love. Talk to a marriage counselor. Yeah, having having a mediator on that would probably be a good idea. It's across the bridge. It's across the bridge. Communication's always key. Yeah, just l listen. Just be honest about her, like what you want, what you, what you expect from a relationship, and talk. I'm sure there's things that she does. Really? Three in a row? Come on. Come on, video game. You're being mean to me. You're being mean to me, video game. You hate Defiled Watchdog? Stick around. When we get to him, I'll show you how to fight him, man. I wrote the book on Defiled Watchdog. You could try asking her why gaming for an hour makes her feel upset. And if she feels neglected, reassure her. Yeah, I mean, like, listen, I, I game for... My, it's my job to game, okay? So it's a little bit different. But even sometimes, like, I'll, I'll play some games every now and then. And Hera doesn't give a damn. I mean, so, it's like sometimes Hera does her own stuff and whatnot. Like, Hera, Hera goes to the Clay College and she, uh, she does ceramics, like, for half of, half of a day. I don't complain about that. You gotta have hobbies. Okay, this is getting dumb. This this is actually being really stupid right now. I've never, I've never, I've never needed this. Assuming she's just not a crazy person, it's likely she has some other need that's that isn't being met. Yeah, like I don't know. You could be just not like paying attention to her at all, right? Like, it could it could totally be on you, right? Where you're you are just not doing anything for the relationship, and then you and then on top of that, you want to play video games. I I I don't know. I can't uh, unless I have both of you here. I can't give you both advice. <laughs> that that's basically what I'm. If you want full time marriage counseling. Uh, you, 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 get, you both got to be here. This is... An, if I don't get it this time, I'm going to be supremely annoyed. Supremely annoyed. I'm supremely annoyed. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to come back later for this. Once I get the iron, I'll just come back later. It also depends on how you play games. If you're the raging type, smashing tables and keyboards. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. New channel point reward? Marriage counseling. I'll put it up. I'll put it up. That hurt.
Dude, this thing chunks damage. Holy hell. Solar Boy with the 19 month resubscription. Thanks, Solar Boy. Plunge that ass. Now that you think about it, there's not too many strength weapons in Bloodborne. Uh, there's some, there's a bunch, but a lot of Bloodborne weapons have uh, mixed scaling. You and the fat guy were having a slug fest. Dude, we were trading hits, man. <laughs> slap for slap. Oopsies. Almost ran right into that guy's cleaver. Still after seven years and countless games, you can't beat the rally system? No, bully. And it's not, it's not just the rally system. I always talk about the synergy in Bloodborne. It's the rally system with trick weapons, with the limb break system, with beast blood pellets. It just, it's all so good. It just synergizes so well together. I usually beat these guys with parries. So on this run, I'm not gonna use my gun. Nice, I got the ritual blood too from him. Okay, that's good to know. I, c I could get one from one of those guys. That's good. I got it. Wait. Oh, wait. I missed... No, I didn't miss something. Oh, I thought I missed something. I didn't miss something. Bloodborne is Miyazaki's magnum opus. I think Bloodborne is the video game's industry's magnum opus. <laughs> it is quite literally the best thing the video game industry has churned out. Yeah, there's not too many blood tinge weapons. You got what? The Chikage? You've got the, uh, the blood letter? You've got like, maybe like the, the piercing rifle or something? There's not too many. Hey, Vicky, how's it going? Oh, that's a column, Zeus. Yeah, I've, I've, I actually did a double backstab with the double L2s on one of the guys. You missed it. I don't know if I can get it. There we go. Not a backstab, but it worked. Oh, that's the R2. You wanted the L2. My bad. <laughs> Left, right. Same difference. Same difference. Right? Wrong. Left. Hey, Mr. Conway. Hey, Troy. How's it going, guys? Mongo Man coming in. Snatchers always give you chills. Bloodborne's a horror game. It's doing its job. Okay, so let me just do a quick check here. I have nine Ritual Blood 2s. That's exactly what we need. Cool. We didn't forget anything. We got everything we needed. Which, oh, this is, oh, this is Watchdog. It's not the defiled version, but I'll give you what my, uh, my strategy is here. We'll hit him in the head once. We'll roll away. This is slower than a saw cleaver. That's why I wasn't able to roll. 
Okay, so he's doing this, which is actually really nice early on. So I'm going to try to get ahead. Oh, bro, I suck. Hold on. I actually suck. Roll that. Let's go for a short arm. I'm going for his front right arm right now. Roll it. Okay, so it broke. Now we'll go for the left. He's going to explode here. Go for the left again. That's fine. Maybe get a, a headshot. Under the fire. Back left again. Got it. Now... Oh, that was back right. But y you know what I meant. <laughs> My lefts and rights are hard for me today. Scooching. I'll just take the free damage. Go here. Nice, nice, nice. Free damage. Got to get out because he explodes. We'll go for the short leg. I hit, I hit the wrong one. I'm actually going to die here. I neutraled because he, he, he did his explosion. If you're too close to the explosion, it's better just to take it. Just take it like a man. Oh, he tried to bite my ass there. Okay, so he's down. I'm going to hit the head twice. Now he's weak in the head, and he should die. That's more or less how you do it, even on Defiled version. <sighs> Yo, Taquito with the two-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks, Taquito. I appreciate that. Yo, I need more blood, man. Only four vials? Can I dupe it? Zeus, you said this was glitchless. That doesn't count as a glitch. Doesn't count. Okay, so for my build, let's go into the DLC. Actually, go Forbidden Woods first. Actually, we'll go to Dark Beast Parl first. Yes. You could listen to the Bloodborne OST for a hundred days straight. Thanks, Ronnie. Ooh, we can get the Nike Air Rune since this isn't glitchless. Do you want to get the Air Runes? Vicky Sweets with the gifted subscription. Thanks, Vicky. You keep Bloodborne alive on, on Twitch, you know it. I try to, anyway. Gonna try some Sicilian pizza tonight. Any tips? Uh, no, you should be able to order a Sicilian pizza by yourself. I don't think there's any good tips that'll help you out. <laughs> Good luck though, Bowley. Gonna drive to the laundromat. Time to listen to Bloodborne Radio. You're listening to Yarnum FM 99.5. Let the good blood guide your way. I'll have a large Sicilian pizza, please. That should do it. I'd listen to that. <laughs> All right, Parlsey. I frames. Oh, I needed that stagger. I needed that one. Jesus whiffing. Damn, no stagger? What is wrong with this game? Okay. Give me that leg, boy. Hit the 
leg! Jesus! I'll just take damage. I couldn't get around. I could not get around anywhere. Alright, I'm gonna use a pellet. This is taking forever. Did I really just whiff his head like that? Wow, I died to Parl. Good job, Zeus. Pantera with the 16 month resubscription. Thanks so much, Pantera. I actually died to Parl. Craziness. Zeus, are you putting the Dark Souls 2 run up on YouTube? Uh, I'm trying to, man. It's been, it's, it's been three or four days and it still hasn't finished processing. So YouTube is trying to stall my content. If you had to do a two-hour program on a radio, what would you do? I, I really don't know how to answer that question. I'll give you more than a leg if you want. I'm liking where that's going. Not as embarrassing as a witch death. There's no such thing as an embarrassing death in Bloodborne. Okay, that was embarrassing. Stop hitting me! I'm tired of being hit. Thank you. Wait, are you kidding me? How is that not a visceral? What the, what the, what the, what the, what the, waka, waka, waka. What is going on, bro? There we go. Jesus. Cheating ass game. After seven years being a PC player, finally got a chance to play Bloodborne. It's amazing. Hope you like it. Hope you continue to like it. Hope you continue to play it for the next seven years like you should. Hitboxes are amazing today. <laughs> okay, so what do we need? We need maybe some blood and we need maybe some bolts. Cool. We got one bolt. Edward Tatch, howdy. Yo soy ghost, good morning. Is this going on YouTube? Yeah, this will probably go on YouTube. Everybody say hi, YouTube. I need an advice. I got 12 Ritual Blood 3, and you have five where you can farm those fast. They haven't appeared yet on the store. Uh, so, like, farming them is tough, man. Farming them, I don't know exactly which specific dungeons they'll be in. Like, off the top of my head. Check, check the Bloodborne wiki. Uh, but a lot of them are in chests and stuff like that. So if you, if you stick around for this run, I'll, sh I'll show you literally every item you need to pick up to go through all the chalices. You could use this run as a guide or any of my other True All Bosses runs. Although this one should be a little bit more streamlined. Because I've been doing them a little bit more regularly now. And I know where I've been making mistakes. Some people with huge latency in here. Yeah, I don't understand the Twitch latency, dude. I really don't get it. I, I, I'm, I'm considering writing up like a real long letter to Twitch. <laughs> it's um, the latency. How they, how they allow this kind of latency is beyond me. Mobile is like 10 seconds. No, dude, there are people in my stream that are minutes behind sometimes. Minutes. 10 seconds is not bad. I'm talking about, I, I, like, literally a minute, two minutes behind. People responding from things I was talking about minutes ago.
you've been behind by over a minute before and it's weird because like you're subbed test like usually it's the non subs but even even for some subs it's it's still uh still not that great test left and right is not your thing today wait see vada loco is 17 minutes behind What about the mixtape? Okay, now you're just playing me. Now you're just playing me. Oh, mobile is definitely more behind than PC. Absolutely. What weapon are you using for the run? Rito. That is not a question you need to ask me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just being honest. That's, that's not. You, you could, you could have used your time typing up a different question that was that that didn't have a more obvious answer <laughs> the amelia fight is pretty easy amelia pretty easy in regular new game she could be if you if you have a strong weapon she could be easy if you have a weak weapon man amelia can rough you up Dark Echo Orb with the 11 month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thank you so much, Dark Echo Orb. Love to the only Twitch streamer I watch now after all these years. Yeah, they, they, all the other ones suck. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. There's some other good streamers out there. You were joking around? No worries. <laughs> I get it. I get it. You hate that deer demon? Why? She's nice. Angry dad, thunder child, how have you been? Good to see ya. Good cleric beast fight? All right, I'm not that dumb. I'm not that dumb. Mmm. Watermelon. Delicious. Delicious. Weak weapon and no numbing mist to cancel her healing if you don't kill her quickly enough is a pain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, uh, Amelia is definitely uh, one of those bosses. Amelia and Ludwig are the same. They, they got a lot of limbs, so you, you, if you have good buffs and good weapon damage, you can get them to stagger a lot. But if you don't have a good weapon, you don't have a lot of damage, and you, you, can't, you can't brutalize the stagger and the limb break system, whew, those two bosses will kill you very easily if you get hit. Watermelon along with mango and grapes is like the most refreshing. Ooh, watermelon, mango, grapes. Now, do you like... Lala, are you using green grapes, red grapes, cotton candy grapes? What kind of grapes are you putting in this? I might try that. that that'll be like a, a fruit salad for me, though. Hera doesn't really like the watermelon or the mango. If you can stagger them constantly, does the damage matter then? Yes, because you need it you you need the damage to stagger them constantly. You won't get constant staggers unless you have a certain amount of damage. Cotton candy grapes are disgusting. 
AKA Rex. Never have you said anything that has been more wrong in my channel. What the hell is like eating wet sugar cubes? What are you on about? Wet sugar cubes. Your taste buds are terrible. Now I don't, now I know I can't trust you food wise. Disrespecting cotton candy grapes. You don't like sweet things? I, li listen, I can agree. I don't really like dessert too much, but fruit. It's that natural sweetness. Hold on. Graveguard kilt. Okay. All right. We got another piece in. All right, now let's go to the DLC and we can get the butcher set so we can get the gloves and then we can send Alfred to his, his fancy pants land. But we got to go kill the Witch of Hemwick and Legarius first. A good organic seedless. Oh, yeah, he's eating organic over here. It's perfectly sweet enough. Now, listen, like, I, I get you. I get you. It's just that co the cotton candy grapes, it's like a new fruit. I like them. I like them a lot. This is not where the DLC is, by the way. This is not it. What do you think is the most annoying non boss enemy in the game? Annoying? Nothing. I don't think there's an enemy in this game that's annoying. If you mean, like, difficult? Not even the dogs? No, I wouldn't call them annoying. Like, like the, yeah. Annoying is just not a word that I would use to describe any, any of the enemies in this game. They're not, they're not too bad. That comes down to just how you are about chocolate or peanut butter. You're happy ha hating things people love because it means they don't have to worry about me stealing it. I, listen... I used to be more like you, honestly, in terms of that. But lately I've been I've been fat. <laughs> I, I typically like darker chocolate. Milk chocolate for me is way too sweet. Way too sweet. And I don't like eating peanut butter on its own. Every now and then, if you if you if you wrap some peanut butter with some dark chocolate, I'll eat a few of those. Sorry. Whew. Big sneeze. You, green grape. Okay, so mango, watermelon, green grapes. All right. I'll try out that fruit salad. Now, do you cut the grapes when you put them in the fruit salad? Or do you just put the whole grapes in? Because that could be a big difference. Crazy amount of rain backed up your sump pump. Ah, oh, dude, that sucks. You tasted pink chocolate. I know in French it's called chocolat rubis. Never even heard of pink chocolate. Can you send me some? <laughs> is, is pink chocolate a thing? Pink chocolat. Ruby chocolate is marketed as the fourth type of chocolate along dark milk and white. Woohoo! I gotta try that. Is it good? What's it like? You think it's better to cut them in half? Yeah, that's that's what I mean. Yeah, it, it definitely is better to cut them in half. So I was that was actually a test to make sure that you knew what you were talking about when it comes to fruit salad. Like the cherries I put in mine, I cut them in half. I depit them. There's no way there's no way I'm putting whole cherries in my fruit salad. Get some pineapple in that fruit salad. Well, Listen, he told me mango, green grapes, and um, 
and watermelon. That's a good combo. So I'm going to try it out. In the fruit salad that I made myself, we got watermelon, cantaloupe, pineapple, honeydew, and cherries. Bing, cherries. You like fruit salad with a little bit of cinnamon. Hmm. I could try that. I forgot the blue elixir. Grapes should be cut in half, both for aesthetic. Oh, aesthetic. Aesthetic is A-E-S-T-H-E-T-I-C. Do you buy them pitted? No, I pit it, I pit them myself. It it takes like I put like a a, a few handfuls in. It takes a few minutes. But just cut them in half, take out the pit, that kind of thing. So where's the butcher set? It's around here, somebody said. But where is it? I think it'd be I think I think I know where it is. I think it's just like to the on the right hand side over here. Like there's a little hill or something. Maybe not a hill. I don't know where it is. This is not what this is not where I thought it was. Oh god. Is it backwards? To the left? I thought it was to the right. Ah, oh, dude. Where is it? Aha! Got it. <laughs> Perfect. It's actually faster this way. Stage left. Got it. Yeah, buddy. Okay, we just need one more piece. One more piece. Should you buy the old hunters? Is it worth it? Yeah, it makes the game better. It's the best DLC ever made. Almighty God, how are you? Jay Diamond, I'm feeling good today. I took a shower this morning. Feeling great. The Mets, what? The Mets. We haven't even talked about the Mets yet. They took four out of five from the Braves, dude. Jacob DeGrom comes back, pitches, pitches perfect through five and two-thirds innings in his second start of the year. Mm. I'm feeling good. Old Hunters on sale on PlayStation? Go get it. What sport? The best sport? Baseball. B-E-I-S-B-O-L. Baseball. Literally the first thing you said this morning was, let's frack and go Mets. Where you been at? The goat is back. I saw it. I saw it. But you, like, listen, Newman, I turn the stream on. I, I see the few comments and then I, I ghost you for 10 minutes. You know how it works. <laughs> you were so excited. Dude, I was pumped. I was pumped. Zeus, we had a haboob in AZ yesterday. What is a haboob? What is a haboob? <laughs> Hockey is better than baseball? No, it's not. Are you going to play Thymesia? Yeah, I'll play it. When's it come out? In like 10 days, right? Why are the mad ones spawning? If you have 15 insight or more, they, sp they spawn all over the map. 
As a Braves fan, it was a rough weekend. Okay, so what's up with Acuna not playing the last game because he was sore? He was he was sore. That that's a thing. He was he was a little he was a he was a little baby soreness. Oh my God, Ronald Acuna was a little baby and he was tired. He couldn't play the last game. I'm not a fan of Ronnie Acuna, man. I'll be. I li I like most of the Braves players, but Ronald Acuna, I've I don't like his attitude. Never have. He's got an attitude like me. I don't like people like me. Whew. He's coming back from a major knee surgery. Yeah, and I'm coming back from banging his mom last night. You know how important that game is? Whatever. <laughs> it's been a weird year for Acuna after coming back from injury. You're not defending it? Yeah, I get, I get it. I get it. All, all I know is that Francisco Lindor broke his finger and played through it. As a fan of baseball, I expect you I expect you to play through your hurtness. He pisses off a lot of fan bases. It's his attitude, man. He's lackadaisical. He's not a leader. He's a good player. Don't get me wrong. He's a really good baseball player. But people don't like attitudes. And it's just it's 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 weird to people like me that the Braves are they're keeping him but they they don't want Freddie Freeman. Like it just it's just weird. Did I really just miss that? Did I miss both of the what the What is this game? You're not complaining, you're a Dodger fan? I really like how like the, the Mets and the Dodgers I mean, I know the Giants aren't playing super well this year, but I like how all the teams that I like are pretty good. Wow, nice hit. Oh, that one's dead. Hey, Neggy, good morning. I don't know where she is. I have no idea. Hey, Chapel Dweller. Dude, the the one hitch blocked the other witch from me. The Giants won the series this weekend. Who are they playing? It could be worse. You could be a Pirates fan. If I listen, if I was a Pirates fan and Andrew McCutcheon was not Reese, oh dude, like I know I know Cutch isn't Cutch anymore, but Andrew McCutcheon was a player. Like I feel the same way about McCutcheon as I do about as I as I do about uh, Freddie Freeman. The same exact way. I just feel like Cutch should have been a pirate forever. Freeman should have been a brave forever. 
Degrom better be a Met forever. Uh, it's it's just it's just how it's just how I feel. What do I need? What do I need? Uh, Kanehurst. Oh, I didn't even need to come back here. What am I doing? We can level up my weapon. I guess that's what we could do. Dude, I need one more twin, though. Let's go get it. Forbidden Woods, and then we'll do the other one. Cinderguard? No. Cinderguard, um... He's not, he's not, he's not good enough. And after Tommy John's surgery, it was clear that he wasn't going to be the kind of pitcher that he thought he was. And he hasn't lived up to it either. I really, I really liked when Cindergard was on the Mets, but honestly, I don't feel like Cindergard would mesh well with the, the current team. I just, I just don't think he, he would, he would mess well with the the players or the pitching staff honestly yeah i don't think it would gel at all man i don't think he's the same kind of analytic workhorse that most of the pitchers are or have been inspired to be with with scherzer and Degrom around his long flowing locks though <laughs> hey ash the lils how's it going My one of my favorite uh, Mets giveaways though was the the the, the Cinder Garden gnome. I like that. You have one? I didn't get one of those. I got a I have I have a I have this guy though. Frack you pig. Frack you. <laughs> All right, I get it. Jesus. So I have I have the Pete Alonzo. But look. Oh yeah, Polar Pete, baby. Polar Pete. Yeah. Don't hit me. Frack off! Jeez. Damage output is actually a little lacking. Ooh, the hits. That 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 was dangerous. I got some double damage in there. That was nice. Ooh, perfect timing. Ooh, just missed. Jump on him. Through the fire and the flames. He's not dead yet, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, the thunk. There it is. The stagger on the sword, it's got that big dong damage.
You missed the 2012. Oh, dude, Lincecum was like my favorite pitcher back in the day. Loved watching him pitch. Okay, so we got a plus six. Time for tickets. Him and yeah, Madison Bumgarner, he fell off in his old age. Whereas like Adam Wainwright has and Justin Verlander, Max Scherzer, they've been able to stay great. But yeah, unfortunately Bumgarner fell off. Duos Leo with the ticket. Mark J with the ticket. Tickets! Tickets, please! All aboard! Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your ride on the Magic School Bus today. I'll be right back. I got to go to the bathroom. All right. Sorry about that. 
Yo, thanks for all the tickets, guys. There's Zilla, not Ideal Gaming, Winter in the Blood, Hungry Manning, The Real Andy with the subscription, UFO Planet Bomb with the gifted subscription, Arceus with the ticket, Mr. Dare, Steinhurst, Dwayne at Sundown, Buzzo, and Kramer, Duum Slayer, Digital Havoc O Gaming, Chapel Dweller, Lalal, Mark J, Duos Leo. Thank you so much for all the tickets. Old Hunter Dev as well. Thank you, guys. Zeus stopped peeing on the bus. No, I didn't pee on the bus. I left. Peed outside on the tires. We need more. More? John 8 with the 100 bits. Are you going to try the God Run? No. No. I have no interest in learning how to no-hit those games. <laughs> no interest at all. Midnight Panther with a brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome in. Thanks for that brand new sub. I appreciate that, Midnight. What does confirm postal code mean when you try to get bits? Um, I mean, it might be, like, for your credit card information. I don't know. Should you buy a PS5 to play Demon Souls and Bloodborne? Yeah, also get Returnal and, uh, Neo. And Neo 2. Get the Neo collection. PS5 Supremacy, it's the best. Do PS5s exist? You'd buy one if you could find one? I know... I know last week Walmart sold a whole bunch of them. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta stay on the lookout for them. Um, uh, uh, there's just a lot of demand for them. They, they, they physically can't manufacture them fast enough. People just, just they want them, they buy them. PS5 is great. Just wish you had time to play. Having a newborn takes a lot of your time. Yeah, I could imagine. I could imagine. I have a puppy, and that takes a lot of my time. Lance McDonald with the raid. Free her. What is Lance, you... Lance, I need you to make emotes for me, all right? You come up with emotes for me. I'll pay you. You and your freaking emotes, man. <laughs> How's it going, dude? Everyone follow up Lance McDonald. If you need one of the most ridiculous... If you need to watch one of the most ridiculous streams on the planet... Good old Pregazaki. Ladder defensive mechanism activate. Uh, what? How much damage does that do? Did you see that? Bro. Some people actually followed when you said that. Lance, just so you know, I require at least like thirty dollars per follow. <laughs> hey, if I if I'm making your stream bigger, I, I, listen. You hosted me. We'll call it even. <laughs> Validation ex machina with the eight month resubscription. Thanks so much. Oh, send the invoice. All right, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Naked chest sp spikes difficulty up for sure. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Do I have a bowl paper? I think I do. There it is. Let's use that. Scooch. Oh, dude, this is weak. This is actually really, really freaking weak, man. I didn't think... I'm not going to survive this. I didn't think it was going to be this week of damage.
Damn it, that hits. Jesus! Really? Okay. I shouldn't have attacked there. Oh, get stunned! Get stunned on! Oh, I wanted that backstab so bad. Scoochin! Scoochin ain't easy, bro! Bad damage and we still got him. That one was for you, Lancey. Boom. All right, now we can actually have her full, full, uh, whatchamacalls it? What's it called? Outfit? Build? I don't know. Legarius is really liking that airborne slam attack. Yeah, he was doing that a lot. It's probably because I normally fight him a little further away. Maybe because I was closer to him, he spammed that more. I claim, no subjects. I claim lots of subjects. English, math, history, Visitor. science. Those are all subjects. We await for Okay. So we got that. Now we can just go back to the Forbidden Woods and we can send Alfred here. And then we can get the gold Ardeo. Now, wait, the gold Ardeo, does it drop from him or you buy it, I think? I think you buy it. Let me, let me. Yeah, you get the wheel hunter badge and you buys it. Now, do you get the badge if you just continue his quest line? Yes. Okay. So let's go backwards here. Thanks, Mitch. Kitster with the 16-month resubscription. Thanks, Kit. Now, you don't actually need to kill him. You can just sort of uh, let him continue his quest. Which will actually be nice, because then we can get that rune from him. What is this? What is this item? Ah, oh, it's thick. Have you ever played the Bloodborne board game? No, I don't have friends in real life. All my friends are like super far away from me. I'll just hang out with you guys all day. I have friends in Arizona, Oregon. That's where they that's where my friends live. <laughs> Beast hunting is there my god. Oodles. Oh, I don't even need to finish the quest. He just gives me the badge? Okay. Fine by me. Oh, I'm going to finish the quest, though, Newman. Don't worry. Your kids won't even game with you? They just want to play Valorant? 
Ugh, Valorant. Why do you even buy that for him? <laughs> do you use standard controller? No, I use one with a paddle on the back. Preferably, unless it's a PS5 game, and then I, I, I can't use a paddle because they don't have one. Oh, this is not it. How much is the gold Ardeo? It's expensive, isn't it? 60k, bro. All right, cosplay complete. Female pyramid head, baby. Hold on, I gotta get the gun off. Gun doesn't look right. Alrighty then. Uh, can we get to the, the second chalice? Yes, we can. Central Thumerian Chalice. If you guys are from Lance's stream, if you don't know what's going on today, we're doing what I call, and I've made a true ball, all bosses TM run. It's trademarked. We're going through the game. We're fighting all the bosses in the main game, all the optional bosses, all the DLC bosses, as well as every single story chalice in the game. No root chalices, obviously. We don't have time for th over 3,000 chalices, but every single story chalice boss will be killed. Are the back paddles used for locking onto enemies? I use it for uh, running, actually. Like right now, I can just run one-handed, just like this. It helps with a uh, stream and stuff. Are we gonna see Bloodletting Beast? You will. I love that fight. I love that fight to death. Thank you. Took forever for him to hit me. You have paddle controllers and never use the paddles. Your brain is like, nah. Yeah, I, I love the paddle. The left, the left sided paddle anyway. I wondered how you eat and run at the same time. Yep, it's the paddles, man. I love the PlayStation 5 controller. I just wish it had one back paddle button. That's, that's I just, all I wish is for one. Look at Mitch. Mitch has all all the the information for chat. What a good mod. Oh, the Jesus whiff though. I could jump too. Oh, I guess I can't jump. My bad. I can't get the double on him. There's the jump. Man, like when, if you get caught in that R1 spam, it's super easy to just get rocked. Dude, Elden Ring has really taught me to just spam jump attacks. It it works. Remember when you called me a bad mod? Oh, how the t you, that was sarcasm, you you dumbass. Layer two. I'm getting hungry. Pre lantern. 
The real R1 spammer is the Thumerian descendant. Yeah, he humps a lot. Boulder Puncher doing great. How are you? Just read Lance's description. Did he actually make the 60 FPS patch or did you get baited? Yeah, he actually made it. Yeah. Graboids with the four month Twitch primary subscription. Thanks, Graboids. What's for lunch today? I actually do not know what is for lunch today. I got to think about it. I actually have some leftover pizza I could probably eat. Really? Really? Leftover pizza, hot or cold? I don't like cold pizza. I, I always heat it up on the, on the pizza stone. How are you supposed to eat, eat your pizza without your drink? Oh, that's a Pink Floyd lyric, isn't it? What are some of the greatest Italian desserts you recommend? Uh, like a real Italian cheesecake is amazing, but hard to find. Uh, tiramisu is, is god tier. Lemon cake, amazing. Those would, those would be the ones that I recommend. That would be the top three. You had a spinach and feta pie yesterday? Oh, we're talking about pizza. I was imagining like a spinach and feta pie with, with like sugar. Bro, what is, dude, what is happening right now? What the, what? Cannoli, I like cannolis, but I don't, I, I would rather have the other three that I mentioned. What the banging commands? Dude, that was insane. All right, third attempt. Literally died twice trying to get this damn chalice, man. You're the only Italian in New York that hates cannoli. It's not that I hate them. Like, they're just, it's like a cannoli is so much. It's like, it's so rich. Like anything beyond one cannoli is just, it's, I can't do it, man. And I, I genuinely like cheesecake, lemon cake, tiramisu much better. You prefer the minis? Yeah, like the minis, at least you can, you can stuff a few of them in your mouth, right? One big cannoli? Yeah. Spinach and feta? You mean spankopita? I call, I, I call spanakopita spankopita, by the way. It's, it's just more fun to say Spanko Pita. I bet Zeus could fit a big cannoli in his mouth. Yeah, I do cannoli fitting practice daily. Any good Italian deli in the greater New York City area? <laughs> yeah, edgy Zoomer. There's, there's tons. <laughs> there are tons of them. How is a cannoli a donut? Nobody's calling a cannoli a donut. What are you talking about? Good job, Zeusy. Good job. 
Zero chance. Play, play Vince McMahon's music, because that's what I had. Play his music. That was rude, bro. I don't know why I'm dying so many times. Oh, it's because I don't have the chest. Dude, it's the chest armor. You thought that was Shane's music? No. I mean, Shane might have started out coming out to that. But that, that's Vince. That's Vinnie Max. Yeah, Shane was here come. Here comes the money! It was that. I can't, dude, I can't win. All that for four quick silver bullets, too. Four of them. Does armor really matter in Bloodborne? There are certain sets that just aren't very good because they're not armor at all. But most, as long as you're wearing something, you'll be fine for the most part. And that's why like, I'm not wearing a chest piece, so I'm, I'm dying a lot more easily because of the lack of chest piece. If I put anything else on, I'd be a lot better off. That's fine. Oh, she got it off. The double whiff. Scoochin. The greed did not work there, that's for sure. All right, I'll take it. In Montreal, if you order a pepperoni pizza, you get some kind of sausage that is god awful. You know, see, I learned something similar in Arizona. Like, in Arizona, they have, like, all these weird sausages and stuff that was completely alien to me. And I did not like them. That new cap looks dope. Dude, I've been getting a lot of Mets hats. The Mets have been doing well. I've been trying to support. I got a new billionaire owner, man. Uh, and he just... I need, I need to support him. He's my new favorite billionaire. In Italy, they give you bell peppers because that's what pepperoni is. Bell peppers. You're a fan of baseball hats? Oh, baseball hats are the best. I'm surprised you don't have the Bloodborne Hunter cap. Oh, like to wear it in real life? No. Fat Slugger with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome in, Fat. Thanks for that brand new sub. When are we going to get some baseball type hats? What do you mean? I'm...
I don't understand what you mean. Baseball type hats. Merch? I've... I've only sold baseball hats. What do you mean? Do I go left here? Your Italian accent is on point. Oh, I'm an Italian American, full, fully, uh, ge full genetic Italian. And I did take a few semesters of uh, Italian in college. So I know how to pronounce things reasonably well, I'd say. Obviously pronunciation's not perfect, but. Are you in the Mafia? I have a family member who was. All Italians are in the Mafia. Like my, my, uh, my, my, uh, is, I guess my great uncle, I think. My grandfather's brother. Uh, you could, you could search his name and he comes up on the black book for, for Vegas. He's literally not allowed in Vegas anymore. He, he, did, he did some time for a while. <laughs> for uh, organized crime. He is a character, too. He was a character. I really dig a trucker cap. Baseball caps are good, too. <laughs> Some time for a while. Dude, that was quick. This guy's humphing me. Matazeds with a brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome in. Thank you for that brand new sub. I really appreciate it. Italy has one of the most beautiful histories in the world, but apparently people only see the mob. Uh, whatever, man. It's, 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 it just, it's, it's actually like, like it's stereotyping Italians is, is still allowed for whatever reason. It is what it is. I don't really, I don't really draw too much attention to it. You know, you're Italian, you're in the mob. But also, I can... One of my family members legitimately was. So like, I can't really get too mad about it. <laughs> like, it's... Is it stereotyping? Yes. Is it also true? Also, yes. <laughs> I need two more chunks. Two more chunks. And I do have three ritual, uh, nine ritual blood threes, so we got everything we needed. Are you doing the chalices to get to the Th Thumerian Queen? Yeah, we will do every single uh, chalice boss in the game. Every single one. Can I just place this chalice right now? I need 3,200. I don't... No. I don't have it. That's fine. That is more than fine. You love the history of Italian-American mobs? Such a fun subject to learn about. It, it really is. I, I think so, too. And I think, I think there, was, there was a period there where Italian Mafia was just really good TV and movies. 
It just really interesting how all that worked. It's it's a it's a good thing that it was broken up. But you know what? Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Maybe maybe the mobs ran communities better. They kept they kept communities intact at some point. I want to travel to Italy in October. Can you tell me some places to go? Ladder defense. So when I was in Italy, I recommend going to like Florence. I recommend going to Naples. There's the uh, go to go to see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Go go to Rome, obviously. What's the uh, Venice? Venice is gorgeous. Really freaking cool in Venice. Uh, Pompeii. Assisi was a really nice town. I was I didn't go to Milan. I know ne I've never been to Milan, but I hear great things. Don't go to Venice. Now I disagree with that. Venice is freaking awesome. Venice is awesome. I, I'm just going to quit out here. Visit Northern Italy only. Southern Italy resembles a third world country. I'll get out of here, bro. Southern Italy resembles a third world country. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. <laughs> Rome is awesome. There's a lot of traffic in Rome, but I mean, seeing seeing the the literal Roman ruins and the Colosseum, that's that's just awesome, man. I don't know how you couldn't have fun there, and the food's great. Go to Venice outside of tourist season. Well, that's any tourist area, right? Nice. Triple kill. Double kill. No, there was actually zero kills there. Not even not even one kill. Your buddy's dad used to say, I'm not Italian, I'm Sicilian. Yeah, he was probably old enough. Like, Italy relatively recently grouped up together for, for a long time. Like, it was, it was basically just a bunch of, like, nation states, if you could even call them that. So I could understand, depending on how old he is, saying something like that. Modern Italians are much more unified than they were 30, 40, 50 years ago, even. Hey, Seeker. Seeing the Colosseum and the ancient ruins is 100% on a bucket list thing for you. And M Mitch, I could... S like... All the architecture in Rome, like it's so, it's so, it's older and it's, it's better. It's manufactured better than things like, like say like the Arc de Triumph. Like it's basically just like a carbon copy of some Roman arches. And maybe the Arc is bigger in France, but you could, you could see the way they built it. It just was easier to build. Much in the same way that, like, a lot of old columns in certain places, like, say, like, Egyptian columns were made out of one solid piece of granite. God knows how they moved them. But in Rome, a lot of the columns, you know, they, they made in pieces and then assembled on site. The, the, 
the ruins in Rome, like with the arches, are a lot like that. The solid pieces. Aliens? No, just just geniuses. Not aliens. <laughs> Scooch. Merida has great Roman arch architecture too. I wasn't there. Smarts and slave labor. Uh, the Egyptians did not have slave labor. But the Romans? Different story. The Egyptians 100% had slave labor. The Egyptians 100% did not use slave labor, labor to build the, the Great Pyramids. 100% now. <laughs> Literally 100% now. They did not use slave labor to build the Great Pyramids. Zeus! How would you feel if I told you I'm currently arguing with someone who firmly believes that there's not a single difference between the PS4 and PS5 ports for Bloodborne? Um, I'd say he's blind and is not willing to look at like people who literally have gone into it and shown that there is a dip. <laughs> Can't say I've ever done that. Can't say I've ever done that one. But yeah, I mean, if, if use my stream as proof. I mean, it, it's, I haven't dropped a single frame. That, that's noticeable by human eye anyway. Not yet. I have not dropped a single frame today. So it's, it's definitely better. Definitely better. Egyptians enslaved the Jews, dude. The, the Egyptians did not enslave the Jews to build the Great Pyramids of Giza. That is not true. <laughs> there might have been other periods of history that you're talking about. You're probably talking about something like a thousand years after what I'm talking about. If that. Screwed it out. That's exactly what I'm trying to tell him. I linked him your stream and his reply was, it took me five seconds to see there's no frame rate counter. He's just a dumbass. I'd recommend finding a new friend. <laughs> Legitimately find new friends. If, if you can't, if, if, if he's that stupid, he's not worth engaging in. Frame rate Andes. Yeah, and, and just unwilling to even like test it himself. Like just look, just look. And compare it yourself. Obviously, I'm not running a frame rate counter. I'm I'm on PS5. This is not a PC game. What I read is that nobody's really sure if the pyramid were made by slaves or not. Okay, so here here here's here here's what happened. First off, the construction of the Great Pyramid is mostly mired in, in confusion and lack of evidence. From everything that we have, though, when Khufu was working on the Great Pyramid, probably refacing it, we have literal purchase orders and, and papyrus, papyri which show that people were paid very handsomely for their work on the Great Pyramid. At least in Khufu's reign. 
There is zero evidence whatsoever that slaves were used to made, make the Great Pyramid. There is no evidence. There is nothing. The only reason people think that is because Zahi Hawass and Mark Lerner are the two foremost authorities on Egyptology, but they've only peddled their own nonsense and refuse to change their own nonsense, even when it's proven wrong time and time again. Like literally the people who are regarded as the most knowledgeable about the subject have created their own sort of educational mafia to discredit anybody who, who even attempts to prove them wrong. So you probably heard that while you were a kid, but it's, it's not true at all. Educational mafia is a great term. I coined it myself. <laughs> Smack him. I need a stagger. Oh, no stagger, bro. God damn it. Really? Okay. What just what? He's killing me. Oh, now this stuff. Wow. I'm actually going to die and lose 400 blood echoes. Or blood vials, I mean. What the frack, dude? I can't get in there at all. Can't, could could not get in there one bit. He just kept killing me. Oh well. <sighs> you got this. I need. I'm gonna need to upgrade this weapon a little bit. Do I? I picked up upgrade materials, right? Yes. And I have no more blood vials too. Great. Thoughts on the internal ramp theory? Uh, hypothesis, but it seems... It seems like that there, there was some sort of internal ramp. At least initially. It does seem likely. Uh, but the, the ramp doesn't really explain how they brought up the, the really big, <laughs> big stones. It doesn't really explain that. But for most of the limestone blocks, absolutely. There we go. Fortify. There we are. Okay, much better. And we could dump the rest into blood vials.
You've never played Dark Souls 2? Should you give it a chance? Yeah, I think it's a, a game worth playing, definitely. They found a secret room a while. Oh, there, there's, there's a few things that they found via like x-rays and, and, and radiographs and, and sound waves and stuff inside the Great Pyramid, but they're, they're not allowed to do anything about it. Can't, can't go and figure it out. I gotta go through this whole level again. Frack. I didn't get the shortcut. Imagine all the knowledge that was lost in the Library of Alexandria. Oh, insane, insane amounts, man. All the history, all the stories. It's a shame. They should have, they should have, they should have backed it up. Save early, saved often. What are they doing, man? You always wanted to go to Egypt, but with all the horror stories of all the scams that happen at airports and hotels, you'll probably never travel there. I will definitely go see the, the Great Pyramids one day. Uh, I feel like I do need things to improve in the country before that, because I'd like to go with Hera. And unfortunately, I just don't agree with a lot of Egyptians' uh, values and how they treat women. Just not... Uh, Country's very old-fashioned in stuff li with stuff like that. Recently tried an arcane build and got my ass handed to me by the one reborn. He's very arcane resistant. Very arcane resistant. Good luck. If you do, hit me up and we can meet up. I'll, if I ever go to Egypt, man, I'll definitely let you know. I'll definitely be talking about it. <laughs> hey, Abyssal, how's it going? In terms of government, I agree, but people here are very different than what's depicted by media. I, I, I understand what you mean, Stro, but I've also seen, like, YouTube videos of, like, people traveling and, like, the women getting followed by, by horny men. And not, like, old men. Like, 20, 25, 30-year-olds. So, like, I've, I've, I've seen it, you know. I, I get what you're saying, but also there is an element of truth to it. You see that with India dozens of times a week? Yeah, like, dude. I mean... I know us in America aren't uh, in love with how we treat all types of people. But we're definitely still... We're doing a better job than a lot of places. And we it doesn't mean we, uh, we can just not continue to do a better job. I tried to get his little tootsie there. Really?
dead. Wow, bro. Come on, man. Bro, how is this guy killing me? How is he killing me like this? At least the elevator's open now. Yeah, but this is, uh, this is, I shouldn't be dying to this boss twice. What do people think of switching sprint roll buttons and souls from circle to L1? I don't like it. I like it how it's set up. Uh, you can remap Cheesecake Militia. I'm gonna change your life right now. Consider subscribing to the channel. Consider, because I'm gonna I'm gonna literally change your life. Go to the home button, settings, accessibility, controllers, custom button assignments, enable, and then here you go. Customize button assignments. Customize them. Any way, any which way you want. Any which way you want. You're welcome. Like and subscribe. Such a pain per game, though. Yeah, bro. Okay, now now you're gonna now you're gonna get sarcasm from me. Harsh and derivative cynicism. That takes literally seven seconds. A pain. Okay. A pain. <laughs> First world problems. Yeah, like, dude, how many, like, how many times are you gonna have to switch that? <laughs> like, in a, in the course of a day. <laughs> And how is it any different than the game giving you the ability to do that? Also. Like, it's no different. He's just trying to get out of subscribing. That's what it is. Just trying to get out of it, guys. I gotta go all the way around the big foot. There he is. Whew. That took way too long. Egyptians are great. There are tons of helpful, respectful people who will help you out. But just like every place in the world, you can get the occasional creeps. My country is no different, man. It just, um, there are definitely some things culture-wise which are more likely. Like, there, there are bad things culture-wise in my country that are, that are more likely, right? Egypt has some of the coolest history. Absolutely. It's, it's my favorite in terms of... Uh, the art, the architecture, uh, just just how they how mystical their society was. Like ancient Egypt is is really freaking awesome. You feel safer in Europe than in America because of the gun regulations? Eh, I've, I, I mean, like that's that's also a generalization too. I mean, like which state? 
you know, you, you, you have certain states with, with gun laws that are lax. You have certain states where you, you can't even get a gun if you tried, so. You live in Florida, and honestly, yeah, look, look, I know, I know, I know things get sensationalized, and you hear about it on the news that often. But it really is, and if you're if you're in certain areas, it's more likely to get become a victim of gun violence. Like there are certain cities that are really bad, and I would never go in certain parts of those cities. But generally, you're you'll, you're mostly safe outside of those few places. I've never been in anything. I don't even know anyone who's been around anything. But like I said, New Jersey is super strict when it comes to guns. Mm -hmm. It's almost like every place is different. Almost. Ooh, 69 insight. I don't know if I should be doing anything with that. Let's get some, uh, let's actually, let's wipe some of that. Let's wipe it. Oh, I can actually. Huh, I can, I can, I can wipe some. All right, Cathedral Ward time. Sixty nine inset secret secret. I wish there was another secret ending, man. You get to fight the doll. <laughs> Meow. What time is it, boys? Oh, it's almost lunchtime. I get to fight Genichiro. I got I gotta I gotta run downstairs real quick and just turn on my oven. I have some leftover pizza. I might as well just eat it, right? Order you something? No, FG Games, you order me something. That's how this works. How long did it take you for the beard? I've had it forever, man. Like, people ask me that all the time, and I'm always like, I don't know. I trim it all the time. I, I, I really don't know how long. If I shaved it off, like, how long will it, it take to grow? Because I constantly, constantly, like, I, I'm probably going to take off, like, three or four inches from it very shortly. Again. And just let it grow again. Can I go through here? Thank you. Pizza from where? Just a local place by me. I don't I don't eat chain pizza. I I have what's called a, a pallet. Dude, thrusting through the door. Smart idea, gotta trim it now and then. Yeah, it's it's you really listen, like if it's if it's wispy at all at the bottom, just just cut it off until it's it's all like thick. And just keep growing it out. You got you gotta do that a bunch. Even me, like my beard is is longer than it probably should be.
two of your closest friends are executive chefs and they both still love Pizza Hut. Yeah. Okay. So Newman, I, I think you're, you also have that friend who's a music engineer who couldn't hear the, uh, the, the auto tune on the new Co Coheed album. I'm, I'm beginning, I'm beginning to think that your, your, your professional friends aren't as good as you think they are. I'm, I'm beginning to think that. She heard it, but she, oh, now, now she heard it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I just ignored. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I want I want to have a conversation with this person. J I just ignored it cuz everyone uses it. Okay. Uh-huh. God, I hate millennials. I hate them. Why was I born in this time period? This is the hardest boss ever. Of course. I'm just not doing any damage. There we go. Dude, that was the hardest Celestial Emissary fight I've ever done. Gotta upgrade this weapon, man. Gotta run ads, man. I'm having a great time in your stream, really? Hey, that means a lot to me. I need beast blood. And I need four more chunks, too. The sump line just wiggled loose. Oh, easy mode. Easy mode. That's nice that it wasn't a big fix. Okay, so I need some chunks. So let's go to uh, let's go to Mensa, shall we? Let's go to Mensa. If it means a lot to you, then count me in as well. The streams are a blast. It does. It do I know, I, know I, I put on an attitude for, for entertainment, but I really do appreciate you guys that like what I do. It, do it does mean a lot to me hearing it. Because a lot of times it's, it's very easy as a content creator just to focus on, you know, the negative stuff. It's very easy. So some positive stuff is, is, is good now and then. And I am a god after all. I do like my ego when it's stroked. Stroke it more often, please. Everyone uses auto-tune to not have it do dozens of takes, but it's not supposed to be noticeable unless you're doing the... Yeah, see, like, that's the thing with the new... Co 
the new coheed man it just it just there's some moments where i can totally tell you're using auto tune bro and it's it's i'm not talking about the little bit of auto tune that everybody uses i get that i i know how it works but when i when i when it when it augments the sound of your voice and i've been listening to you sing for well over a decade i know what your voice sounds like when it augments it to the point where it doesn't sound like you anymore i'm that's just gonna be a no for me dog and i've listened to vaxes too a lot more i like it more than i did when i when i first started wish uh listening to it i do like it a lot more but there are just some decisions made with the music that i just i just don't like at all <laughs> i just don't like like there's one song on it the last song which is like it's it starts off really stupid and slow, but then it turns into an awesome Coheed song. And then, like, when, like just when the song is, like, at its peak, like, Claudio slows the song down and turns it into, like, a love ballad about with his son. I love my son. Oh, my God, you're so good. You're such a good son. You're the best. I love you. And it's just, like, it just, it's, it's the, honestly, the... It could it could have been it could have been one of my favorite songs from the band ever. And it just he just ruined it. Right in the middle of it. Just ruins it. Whatever. Uh. <laughs> Still love the band. It's okay. I just I just feel like they should have hired me. I would have told I would have told them what the good the good decisions would have been. I know better. Stupid son ruining all the songs. Listen. This is how art works. Tragedy makes great art. Tragedy. Not love. Not happiness. Tragedy makes great art. I don't want to hear about anybody loving their son. All right? It's not, that's not why I'm listening to Coheed. It's certainly not why I'm listening to Cambria. I love my son. I love good music. <laughs> Loving your son has nothing to do with good music. Hence why Van Gogh is amazing, exactly. Majestic. See you later, Sacred. Frack. <sighs> Sounds bad, but a lot of artists' work drops off when they quit drugs. Uh, well... Claudio's never been a drug... He, he likes alcohol, but he's never been a drug drug user like that. But I actually talked about that the other day. Most music is just written in, in a, in a drug-laden stupor. <laughs> oh, he just... Dude, he just dipped. He said, peace, booked it out of there. ABR have been straight edge Christian boys. What's ABR? August Burns Red. Thanks for letting me know what they're called. I needed a, a new Christian rock band to avoid completely. Thank you. Christian rock. <laughs> Chris
Creed's yeah, dude. Like you have Creed, and that's it. That's the only acceptable one. Do you have a Scottish TV series you watch? We don't, we don't get Scottish TV in America. What are you talking about? I'm not, I'm not making this up, but 90% of Americans would literally be incapable of understanding a Scottish person speak. 90% of Americans. Not all Christian bands talk about their beliefs in their music, though. Yeah, nice try. Yeah, trying to indoctrinate me to your religion through your music subliminally. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, I watch Fight Club. I saw, I saw the giant penis in it. Immediately got addicted to penis. I know how it works. Nice try, God. There's a penis in Fight Club? You didn't realize it, but that's why you like penis too. I actually don't know if you do, Amory Hart, but that's where the joke went. <laughs> Rule one is don't t talk about Fight Club. That's the movie. You didn't watch it? Oh, dude. Unbelievable. How do you not watch Fight Club? Fight Club's one of the, the few movies that is, is actually better than the book. All this talk of Coheed as time consumer stuck in your head now. I love time consumer. It sounds better than that, if you guys have never heard the song. It, it sounds a lot better than that. <laughs> Devil in Jersey City is your favorite song from Coheed? That's a good one. New Jersey bound. Scream sayonara. You were right in your assumption. <laughs> I mean, I just, uh, Amory Hart, not going to lie. I just assume 90% of the people here like penis because I talk about liking it so often. I mean, there's no, there's no way. There's just no way you don't if you've watched my channel. Ha press the... Dude, my controller's broken. <laughs> you are an influencer. What Twitch doesn't realize is that I've subliminally showed hundreds of penises throughout every one of my streams. Just one frame, you can't tell, but it's there. It's there. Johnny Bullet with a six month resubscription. Thanks, Johnny. How have you been, dude? Great to see you. <laughs> I think I have enough chunks now, right? I should.
You were lucky enough to get your PS5 in February. Both your sticks have drift problems? Really? I, I haven't had that issue, thankfully. Don't care how accurate that is. Came out to my parents after seeing the Blood God's perfect face for the first time. <laughs> Mom, Dad, have you seen this face? How could I not go gay? And immediately your parents decide that they're going to get a, a divorce because your mom is attracted to me and your dad is attracted to me and they both want to be banged my, by me every, every single Wednesday. Only Wednesdays, though. Scooch! Sony wouldn't fix your controller when it was under warranty? Honestly, man, fixing a control, like, I, I don't know what company you're going to get to fix a controller, you know. Is it Wednesday yet? I want to have sex with Jesus. Oh, big stagger in the crotch. Oh, I love that stagger. Whoa, he's looking at chat. Dude, that was a head cutter. Damn it. You just watch some guy on YouTube fix old Game Boy games? Yeah, like you can like replace the, the battery or something in them. Something like that, right? To make them work again? Selena Kyle with the brand new subscription. Welcome in. Thanks for that brand new sub. I appreciate it. Sweet Josephine, will you me back home? Oh, what a good song. Shut up. Four oh eight. Yeah, so this has a little bit extra skill scaling. We'll go with that. And I, I want some endurance too. Which sky phase do you think looks the best in the game? Hmm, I like them all, man. I don't know. I like how it changes. So, you know what? One thing we can do here is put on this chalice. Okay. And we could also level up our weapon a bit. And by a bit, I mean all the way. Put on our good gems. All right. Now we're stacked and loaded. Now we're looking good.
All right, let's go back to Ebrietta's because I never, uh, never finished her off. Wait, that's not the right song. <laughs> that's Coheed again. No! I'm fine. Whew. Made it. Just a little watermelon before the fight. Give me that noodle. What are you doing? Bop it. Oh, the whiff. All right, now my damage is insane. Is Ludwig's blade still the best all-round weapon? No, the saw cleaver has always been the best. Ludwig's is a good number three, though. It's a good number three, maybe four, depending on what you're fighting. Okay, what else is optional that we need to do? Amygdala. We need the red jellies, too. Have you done Bloodborne hitless runs? World's first person to no-hit the game, man. Check out my mod. He linked you the video. How would you rank the Rakuyo? The Rakuyo is also up there. Saw Cleaver, Saw Spear... Whirligig Saw, Rakuyo, Ludwig's Holy Blade. Those, those are, those deal the most damage. Have to go? Grogni later, dude. Thanks for hanging out. See you soon. Nothing is better than Ludwig's. Uh, dies. I literally just said the Saw Cleaver was better. What are you talking about? Are you even paying attention to me, dies? This looks like Ludwig's holy bl- And you appear- Dies, you are- I am going to ban you. You're- you're getting permanently banned. What about the hunter's axe? Oh, it's not even in- in that- It's not even in that category. It's- it's- Hunter's axe is like two tiers below those weapons. Maybe three tiers. It's good. Like, I'm not calling it bad or anything, but... There is no way that the hunter's axe competes with the saw cleaver. The Whirligig Saw, the Rakuyo, or the LHB. Will you still love it? That's allowed. You're allowed to love it. <laughs> my, my favorite weapons aren't the best weapons in the game. I mean, Saw Cleaver could be in there, but I, li I like the Cause Parasite. I like the Blood Letter, the Burial Blade. You hate the boulder throwing yetis? Aw, oh, that's mean. They're nice. Hey, Dennis.
Crotch shot! That damage? Yeah, we're fully upgraded now. Hey, Emily. Okay, are there, are there any other optional bosses that we missed out on? I don't think so. So we'll just go to the DLC, I guess. How do you like Elden Ring? I like it enough. I, I'm, I'll, be, I'll be getting into Elden Ring soon. Again. First day I play Elden Ring will be mostly focused on me trying to figure out a route for it. Do you think you'll do Elden Ring challenge runs? I'll play the game like killing all the bosses with different weapons and stuff like that. And then uh, we'll, we'll see how often I want to play it based on my natural affinity for the game. Elden Ring is the easiest Souls game. That's definitely not true. <laughs> no worries, Emily. Not true. Well, yeah, it just, that's just even even if you play the game as a mage, you could still you could still beat the other games easier as a mage. You've always heard um, magic in Demon Souls is cracked. Magic in all the FromSoft games is cracked. There's magic in the Souls games. Okay, double whiff there. Double whiff there. Nice. Give me that crotch. Does Bloodborne on the PS5 run 60 FPS? No, but it's a it's a consistent 30 though. Later, nerd. Elden Ring works much better when you play with the game's mechanics, like block counters. Yeah, the block counters are pretty cool, but I, I wish I didn't have to use a shield for them. Like, I wish, I wish it had, like, a Sekido kind of parry that I could use instead or something like that. Because I, 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 I don't like switching shield, no shield. You actually don't have to use a shield? Well, what can you use then? 
You can block with a sword into it. Yeah, but then you get then you get damage, like lots of damage. Or is it or is it not as much damage as I, as you would expect when you block with your uh your what calls it? Time to make some dinner. Oh, I forgot about heating up my oven, dudes. I need the oven heated. Some streamer tried to tell you Sekiro is trash and had the worst combat of any FromSoft game. That can't be like a, a, a popular streamer. That's got to be like a, a nobody, a wannabe, a has-been. I never was. Wow, that was the worst uh, big guy dodge I've ever done, because I didn't dodge anything. Sounds like he never made it past the first mini boss. Sounds true. <laughs> John Cena, can't see him. Wow, bro, that was a nice hit. Came out of left field. Torn between buying Sekido or Elden Ring. I'd go with Sekido first. I, I always will tell people to play the games in order that they released in. Those inner gauntlets are insane. You could never beat the inner owl fight. Sounds like you have unfinished business. That's what it sounds like to me. Sekiro should also be cheaper to buy at this point. Yeah, I, I do understand that mindset, but also in a game where people pay $30 for Stray, <laughs> you could probably pay 40 bucks for Sekiro. Activision is greedy. No, bro. Even like Dark Souls 2 is like full, like full price right now. It's like 40 bucks for DS2. That game came out almost a decade ago.
Ooh, just hit him on that distance. I was hoping for the backstab. Give me that booty slap. Incoming. Ooh, that was close. Oh, I thought one was going to stay. Unfortunately, it did not. No big deal. What's from software's next game going to be? Yeah, Armored Core is the, the big rumor going around, but maybe, maybe it's going to be the other game that they're working on that they didn't tell anybody about. Does Zeus have a favorite weapon to use in Bloodborne? Cause Parasite lately. You'll give everything for another Sekido-like game? Yeah, I'd love another Sekido. Or Sekido DLC at the very least. Hmm. Just give me one minute. I'll be right back, guys. All right, boss time. Give her my big flame sword. Ugh. Yeah, you like that? Big slam. Oh, Pyramid Head Mr. Thrust. Booty slap. Oh, a facial, huh? I got my rally back. Jump it. Oh, she got me. Scoochin'. 
Scoochin. Hit her with the heel action. Under the armpit. Booty swipe. Back swipe. Oh, I wanted her to run right into it. Ooh, that was almost a death. I almost made the big mistake and I almost lost all my life. Boom. Big jams. Scoochin. Circle around. Woo! Booty slap. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm doing it. Ha <laughs> ha! Through the fire and the flames. Easy. First try. Like it's nothing. How do you open this? You just noticed the books in the Hunter's Dream titled How to Pick Up Fair Maidens is a potential reference to Elden Ring? No. It's a reference to Gehrman trying to hook up with a girl way out of his league. <laughs> Sklotched with the 50-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks so much, Sklotched. It's been a while since I discovered the best stream on Twitch Entertainment. It has been a long time. 50 months is insane, dude. Thanks for sticking with me so long. Uh, 40k. Whacker! There we go. 562, 571. So, yeah, this is more of a quality weapon than strength-based, honestly. Well, let's do some chalices. We still have a few bosses left in the main game, but uh, I'm going to keep them for later a little bit. Oh, dude, I, I, I put in the wrong chalice. I just realized I put in the, I just put in the wrong chalice. Oh, no. I, I went to the wrong one. Do, did I screw up this whole run? Ooh. Ooh. Let me see here. I did not screw up the whole run. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hinter Tomb first. I forgot about Hinter Tomb. I should have done this earlier. Time for Neo? Not yet. Not yet. It's okay. We're okay. Thoughts on Shadows of Rise for Resident Evil Village? Is that the upcoming DLC? I will be playing it. If I'll be playing it in third person. That's what I'm looking forward to. Did you like RE8? No. There's, a, there's an infamous clip, if you want to see it, about my feelings about RE8. No is the response you expected. Oh, Mitch, I'm going to play the hell out of that game. Oh, man, there's... This is going to be fun. Got a lot of shotgun gamers that want to watch. Will you play Neo? Yeah, Neo will be later on after I finish the Bloodborne, man. And I need to get... Oh, if he kills me, he kills me. Whatever. As a semi-Italian, what's your recommendation for a pasta recipe? Ah, oh, dude. Clevis. I, what do you mean? Are you talking about, like, the pasta itself? Are we talking about, like, spaghetti pasta? Are we talking about, like, ravioli pasta? Otero, how's it going? The DBD dating sim. I am so hungry, but my pizza oven has to heat up. 
like spaghetti topping or sauce. Listen, like, you can make a very good... A very good and very easy tomato sauce. Just by... What you want to do... You need... I would recommend getting the best kind of tomatoes possible. Now, different brands of tomato are better than others. If you can get, like, San Marzano tomatoes in a can... That, that's your best bet. That's your best bet. Uh, there's, uh, there's some brands that you don't need San Marzano's for, but you, you, need, you need some nice, nice good tomatoes. It's very simple, man. Just a little bit of olive oil in a pan. Cut up just a little bit of onion. Like, I julienne the onion. I take off, like, I cut an onion in half. And then I take off, I cut it maybe basically like two inches wide and then take the first two layers of the onion, flatten it out, cut it into very paper thin strips and then cut it into very, very small, minute pieces vertically across the strips. Saute that very low for like 10, 15 minutes. Add, add some very, very smally minced garlic to it. One clove is all you need. Saute that for a minute. Turn the heat on three. Dump in your tomatoes that have been crushed or pureed. And then cook that down for like 20 minutes, a half hour on low. Add some salt, pepper, some basil leaves. You're good to go for the sauce. That's that's that it, it's simple for tomato sauce. Now, if you have if you don't have good tomatoes, I also add a little bit of oregano. I also add a little bit of oregano. I forgot to mention that. I I like the oregano in it. In a can, you have a garden, you grow your own tomatoes. Well, if you want to do if you want to if you want to do that, man, I do have a food pro like a a, a tomato mill cuz you're going to need a tomato mill if you want like good consistency. I actually just purchased, I'm going to buy like a box of tomatoes. We're going to do like a, 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 an old Italian tomato sauce making stream. Maybe I'll get another box. It's 50 pounds. Maybe I'll get two boxes. We'll, we'll jar a whole bunch of tomatoes one day in a few weeks. Fresh or dried. I mean, if you have fresh, that'd probably be better, but I use dried. Some folks add a little sugar. You like adding sugar would be something you would do to, you know, if you don't have the good tomatoes. I I I like I never add sugar though, honestly. Tomatoes have a lot of sweetness that you can extract from them. You planted extra heirlooms this year? Yeah. Next year, my garden will be fully operational. Definitely. Hey, Dusk Rob, how's it going? You were never into guarding until you set one up with your partner? Yeah. It's it's awesome once you get into it, but I, I had too much stuff to get done this year. Couldn't get it. Chilies are also great with a tomato sauce. Uh, yeah, let's, but some people don't like really want that. I I typically. Like after, after the sauce is done, you know, I'll put a little more oil in a pan, maybe, f maybe fry up some additional onion, some additional garlic, maybe a lot of garlic if I'm going for marinara. Uh, and then I'll put chili in that. Oh, I had to jump off the bridge, not go over it. Oopsies. Marinara is so good when it's done right. Yeah, it's amazing.
Did you mix anything? Oh, you could add like, depending on, you could add a little bit of water to it as well. Like after, I forgot, af, after you dump out the tomatoes, get a little bit of water, swish it around the can, get all the extra tomato stuff you missed. And I'll add that like after the, the sauce has started to simmer. Just a little bit of extra water to give the, uh, the tomatoes some time to cook themselves. You put white wine instead of water? All right, well, now you're just being fancy. But see, I, like, I wouldn't put white wine. Like, that's not, um, that to me is like a, I'm talking about just like tomato sauce. I'm not really, what I'm talking about is not really, I wouldn't put wine in the tomato sauce. I'd, I'd cook the tomato sauce and the pasta with some wine. That's something I definitely would do. But in terms of like making just like the sauce, I wouldn't put wine in that. And I personally, but if you're just if you're just gonna like add the sauce on top of pasta and you're sort of skipping a step, sure, sure. Can't rush a great sauce. Well, you could do like super slow all day kind of sauce too. Like we're talking like gravy now, maybe like a meat sauce and whatnot. Yeah, well, we'll that that'll take a long time. But if we're just talking about like a straight tomato sauce, it doesn't need to take forever. And if you're using really good tomatoes, you can overcook it to the point where you you lose the freshness of the tomatoes as well. Cannon straight to the solar plexus. Does it make any difference between letting the enemies kill you using the hunter's mark? No, like that's, it doesn't matter to me. I think I have to go in that room. Yeah. Homemade pesto. The thing about homemade pesto is I feel like it costs so much to buy the amount of basil I need. <laughs> but that's where next year I'll have I'll be growing all my own basil, so it won't matter. Pine, yo, the pine nuts. Yeah, the pine nuts are are. OP in terms of price. I go here. Not through that door. Yeah, I don't have good indoor light for basil. I wish I wish it would grow right, but it just doesn't. I just don't have uh like the places that are lit, I have a bunch of windows that just, I can't put a plant there. And, and the dog too. I got the dog now, so I don't wanna, I, she would just eat it all probably. How much could a pine nut cost? $10. <laughs> they're like, I don't know, they're like 20, 30 bucks a pound or something. They're, they're very expensive. What kind of dog do you have? I have a golden doodle with an improper coat. Gatsby would probably bite on the leaves. I'd be surprised if he did, but maybe. He doesn't really bite on things.
Ekates Gray Cloud with the 24 month resubscription. Thanks, Ekates. Two whole years, man. Two whole years. Thank you so much. Have to go later, FG. It's been so long since you played Bloodborne, mainly because Elden Ring has been so good. Hey, yeah, I understand that. Are the puppers and the kitty getting along, Keg? Yeah, for the most part. She doesn't, like, attack him or anything. So that's good. <laughs> As a cute dog, how long have you had her for? Just a few months. Just a few months now. Four? Almost four months? It's actually been a while. I already told you Gatsby's the boss in that relationship. Like, Rory is like four times his size, but if Gatsby slaps her, she'll be like, okay, I gotta, I better listen to this dude. Tough boss. All right, this chalice is done. We got the lower hinter tomb chalice. Good to go. Next up is lower Thumerian. What do you think of this greatness list? Bloodborne, Sekiro, DS3, Elden Ring, DS, DS2, haven't played Demon Souls. Okay, that's why Demon Souls isn't before DS3, but yeah. That's pretty much what my list is. Pretty, pretty much. It's three of those. We'll get five of those. Two of those. Good, 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 good. I don't think they need anything. We could just go to the chalice. Lower Thumerian chalice. Now this one's going to be difficult. Oh, I got to put on my runes. Ah, I got to run back. You don't know if you can get into Sekiro? Why not? Just, just stick the disc in your PlayStation. Click on Sekiro. Start the game. It'll work. Elden Ring beats out DS3 for you, third place. It most likely will for me, like when, once I start going through it again. I just gotta, I just gotta dive into it. Forgot the runes. I'm just gonna get this thing first, and then I'll, I'll go back. Your girlfriend is so jealous. Why are girls like that? You, you, why are people like that? People are just jealous. They get jealous. Why? Why? You, you got to ask yourself, why? Is it something you're doing that's making her more jealous? Or is it something that she has? I, I don't know. It's hard, it's hard for me to talk about it, man. I don't know your specifics. Are you playing video games for more than an hour a day? The callback. The callback. Like I said, my girl lets me play games when I when I want. So it's it's not a girl thing. It's it might just be a your girl thing or it might be a you thing. It's hard to it's hard to give specific relationship advice. It's very hard. I need to talk to both of you. Feel free to feel free to schedule an appointment with my secretary. I do marriage counseling.
You went to a job and there are other girls. Oh, it's simple then. Uh, that, that, that's, a, that's a simple equation. You tell her to pay you instead of going to the job where you make money and you're in a professional environment. You tell her to pay you and then she could be your boss and you don't have to be around those other girls. Easy. I just, I just solved it. Just solved it. Your wife loves watching you play video games? Yeah, Hera, Hera actually wants to watch me play Bloodborne. She hasn't really sat down and watched it. <sighs> Where am I? I am lost, bro. Here it is. Oh, that's that's danger. Oh, dude, did he just hit me with his crossball? Dude's chucking balls at me. He's got the best balls in the business. Full-time streamer, part-time relationship expert. I've had a relationship for a, lo a longer than most people. Most people, so. I know some things. Communication. That, that is the number one thing. If you have a problem, tell them about the problem in a nice, open, and honest way. It's pretty simple. Is this door open? Where is there a door here? No, there's no door here. You can't find your hair tie? Yeah, God, dude, there uh, we purchased 10,000 hair ties. I still don't know where they all are. boss with three enemies who aren't really attacking through each other oh they do that it's just that they don't uh, hug each other like something like demon princes or godskin duo used to but they definitely attack through each other Yo, Seno Senochi with the KO Ken times five gifted subscription. Hitting me with a sub cannon straight to the solar plexus. You goddamn legend. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Giving me power during the fight, no less. Scoochin. Thanks, Senochi. Thanks so much. You checked your wrist and forgot your hair tie at home. But, see, a lot of gifted subs today, guys. Thanks again, Sonochi. Do you recommend Mortal Shell? I do. 
I do. 15 people made that game. It's a really awesome Souls-like. It's a little short, but again, 15 people made it, so... I, I want people to buy it, play it, enjoy it, because I want that game company to make another game. Really short? Yeah, it's like, it's like the same thing with Returnal. Returnal's really awesome. It's about as short as Mortal Shell. What, what you get is great. Do you have inside info about a new upcoming from software game? Yeah, I actually am good friends with Hidetaka Miyazaki. Before COVID, we used to go bowling every Wednesday. Now we just do virtual bowling. Uh, but I can't, I can't tell you what the... Um, I've signed a contract, is what I'm saying. I can't actually tell you what, it, what, it, what is coming. Returnal is one of your go-tos after they added the Tower of Syphilis. Now, see, that's the thing. I didn't really want to play the game because I was worried that I would contract Syphilis. Do you, did you get Syphilis from, from making it? Sinochi with another KO Ken times five gifted subscription hitting me with another sub cannon straight to the solar plexus you goddamn legendary air thanks for another five gifted subs thank you so much sinoshi for sure Bowling on Wednesday, banging parents on Wednesday. Yeah, Miyazaki likes to watch sometimes. Oh, I actually forgot something. I got to go back. It's okay. Good, th good, thing I, good thing I remembered. Ding dong. You're welcome. Thank you. Good morning, Bleeds. Nope, this is the way. Chat is blazing today. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ritual Blood 3, and I think it's this one. Ritual Blood 3. Got him. You think Miyazaki was working on a genre other than Souls right now? Well, he's always he's got his, his hand dipped into multiple pots. That that's been his MO. I really do want another standalone me, like Miyazaki only game. I really would like that. But all the other games seem to be like Miyazaki's the king, and and he has one of his little princes help help him now. Like Sekido, even Se even Sekido had co-directors. Ah, oh, dude, I didn't. I don't have the eye rune on. I'm so dumb. Get lucky. Get lucky. Got lucky, baby. Didn't get lucky there. Did not get lucky there. I did get a sack of potatoes, though. <laughs> hey, Moon Presence. What is this loading screen doing? Come on. When are we optimizing PS5? Bloodborne. Do you plan on doing a viewer run? Yeah, my next subathon, I'll probably do one. It's 
Don't think I've seen a Zeus subathon. How often do you do them? V very few and far between. But I, I am planning one in the, the semi-near future. As much as I joke about, like, monetizing my content and stuff, I just, I just don't like doing too many of them. Also, they're like, um... I don't know. I feel, I feel, I like them when they're rare. I like them when they're rare. Herio, how's it going? Cool, got a free extra. Hey, Akash, how's it going? Whatever, dude. Jeez. Resource guarding like nonsense, bro. Just let me get the workshop haze extractor. You can kill me. I don't care about the blood echoes. Have you watched Sandman on Netflix? No, I haven't. I don't I don't watch much TV. I watch a ton of baseball, but I'm kind of like anti-TV unless it's really, really good. Or just sports. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go back one more time. I, I didn't get the uh, the scorpion chest. Any good new TV shows? Nothing really. That's like I watched the new Star Trek: Strange New Worlds. It was it was okay. I still I gotta check out the boys. People have been recommending that to me. I haven't seen that. Better Call Saul. I, I mean, like, I tried watching Better Call Saul again. Like, it started from the beginning. I, I got to maybe just start later on. I just don't want to deal with, like, the whole brother's crazy, but somehow he's a soup, soup, super genius thing. I don't know. He's going to he's gonna get statically charged. or What, what, what even is that? I, I have no idea. I got, I got real tired of that real quick. Oops. Okay, I haven't dodged one attack. There we go. Dead. I was I was playing for a stagger there. That line absolutely killed you the first time. <laughs> Better than Breaking Bad. I, yeah, there's, no. There, there's, so, there, there's clearly some Better Call, Better Call Saul cultists out there that think that that show is better than Breaking Bad. And clearly you haven't seen the first two seasons of Better Call Saul. I mean, it's, it's, it's fine. It's good. But comparing the first two seasons of Breaking Bad to the first two seasons of Better Call Saul, it, that's just ridiculous. 
Like, they're not even close. I don't know how the series develops. And I like Better Call Saul. I do. It's much better than I expected it to be. Considering it's a spin-off, but there is no way I'm going to be on board the It's Better Than Breaking Bad train. Dude, all the staggers. Oh, he tried to play footsie with me. He tried to play footsie. He did play footsie. Damn. Frack. I can't believe I screwed that up. Zeus, your oven is on. Thank you for reminding me. As soon as I finish this chalice, I'll go put the pizza in. It's way slower, but the later seasons really are high quality television. Yeah, I, I, I'm not doubting that. I'm not doubting that. There we go. Yes, Chernobyl. I like Chernobyl so much. I like I like that series. That was so well done. You work at the nuclear plant, so apart from some nitpicks they get wrong about radiation, you did like the show. What did they get wrong? Teach me. Teach me. Did I go to the left here? No. Definitely the right. <laughs> definitely the right. The new Lord of the Rings, it does look good. I, I, I haven't been, um, as soon as I heard that they were just making up stuff on their own, I was like, yeah, I'm not interested. Can't wait to see just how awful it's going to be. It's called Rings of Power. It doesn't look good. How could Tolkien's kid allow that? Because Tolkien's kid has done absolutely nothing with his life except for suck on his father's tailings. All right? That's why. That's why. Tolkien, Christopher Tolkien is... He, he, ju he just took his father's stuff and made an, an insane amount of money with it. That's it. He, 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 didn't, he wasn't able to cr uh, create anything new. He, he used his father's notebooks and created some boring stuff. That's why. 
He, it's he's not he's not an artist, and and what him and the the Middle Earth Enterprise Company has done the copyright law is freaking pathetic. Christopher Tolkien. Frank Herbert's son did the same thing. If I was like soup, dude, if I was super rich or super famous, I would literally not allow my kids to just, just work off of me like that. He was such a protector of his father's work for so long. Bro, it, sh it should be in the, c the public domain. Protector, my ass. He's been a protector of, of his goddamn millions or billions of dollars. That's it. I don't know if he has billions. I don't know what he has. Uh, do I go here? Yeah. Gimme. Oh, I've lost. I'm lost. This way? Yes, this is the way. Okay. There's my ritual blood. Didn't the trailer for Lord of the Rings show Galadriel with teenage angst? I like I said, man, I haven't I haven't seen it. I'm not I'm not really interested in it personally. Did you beat the DLC bosses yet? I beat some of them. I still have to do a couple though. Don't watch it, spare your eyes. <laughs> Hold on, guys. There she is. There's my puppy. Puppy hugs are the best. She's the best. You're so good. Out of the puppy hug and into the spider nest. Good old Bloodborne. Really? I just die instantly? Cool. Just instant death. Nice. That's what we're looking for. Have you already finished Neo? Nope. Neo will be after the, uh, the Bloodborne today. You prefer cars? Their purring is so calming and can lull you to sleep. All right, Lala. You, you go buy your cars and I'll buy my puppies and... We can each have what we want. 
cats, not cars. Hey, you wrote cars. I don't know what to tell you. Puppies are certainly cheaper than cats. This this dog has cost me way more way more than the cat. Oh, than cars. Okay. <laughs> Dude! What the hell, bro? They're instant killing me. Chat is on one today. Ah, we're all having a good time. Get a cat sled. Okay, the idea of riding around the neighborhood like I'm in Alaska being pulled by, like, uh, in the Iditarod... But instead of, instead of huskies or malamutes, it's like 25 little cats. I got, I got to make that happen. I got to make that happen. I want, I want a cat pulled or a, a, was it a cat drawn sleigh? That would be hysterical. Dude, imagine how much I could charge for rides on the cat sleigh. I mean, like, seriously? Really? That's that's what this game is trying to do today. That is what this game is trying to do today. Heard you giving your recipe for tomato sauce while making a similar one, but use too much cayenne pepper. So you what, what you, you want to do? I would reckon <laughs> wrong. I, w I would recommend uh, getting like crushed red pepper flakes and so and after after the the after you put the, or when you put the garlic in, put the crushed red pepper in in the oil and heat the heat the heat the chili with the garlic and the onion. Cayenne pepper is a little bit different, but you can you can use any if you if you have fresh chili you could use that. Even like a like a like a red jalapeno fresh will will go well. Smoked paprika? No. No, not no. No. No, no, no. Cayenne pepper, no smoked paprika. No, no, no. We're making Italian food here, okay? Italian. Smoked paprika. Dude, just let me freaking heal, man. That hit me, right? Yeah, that clearly hit me. You, you stupid potato! What the hell is happening?
I'm running an ad. That's ridiculous. You hated Chalice Rom? I, I've never had an issue with Chalice Rom until today. Thoughts on Master Willem being the father of baby Rom? Where are you getting that from? Yo, the hub with the converted subscription. Welcome in, Hubble. This is getting ridiculous. At least we got her there. Do you consider the Pale Blood Hunt by Redgrave an accurate interpretations of Bloodborne lore? For a lot of it, yes. I disagree with him about some conclusions he draws. And he's not a subscriber of the doll being evil, so he's definitely wrong there. But a, a lot of what he says is, is accurate. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. I definitely recommend reading that if you if you like Bloodborne lore. Climb the ladder. You wish they would just port the game? Port the game. Oh, what do you mean? Like PC or something? Yeah, vacuous means like a lack of intelligence and emptiness. If someone doesn't care for the doll being evil, I don't care for their lore interpretation. Like, it, well, like, listen, Bloodborne lore has more to it than the doll being evil. What, what I'm saying is there are other things going on that he talks about that he's accurate with. But the doll, he, he, he doesn't believe that the doll is evil, so he's wrong there. There was an interview where Miyazaki called Rom cute. Yeah, I think I remember reading that. Rom was his favorite boss. Even Miyazaki's wrong. Wrong. Smoke roar bongs with the 16-month Twitch primary subscription. Thanks so much, Smoke Roar. Hope you're doing well, man. Oopsies. Uh, give me one minute, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let my dog out. I think she's got to go out. Be right back.
Un. What time is it for me? Like 1.30? Something like that? What was I doing? I forget. Um, I guess we'll just go this way and see. Looks decent. Yeah, I got I got decent pizza. It's not it's not the best pizza in the world, but it, it's decent enough. At least I can eat it. One thirty eating pizza. What a legend! What time do you want me to eat pizza at? What do you mean? That salad looks great. Hey, it's not salad. It's a vegetable. How big is the pizza? Well, I usually get 16 inches. I had five slices of pizza last night. Because I didn't have any breakfast. That looks good. You're trying to be healthy. Dude, I need to start being healthy, man. I, I, I eat like... My, my diet is... is garbage tier right now. It's so bad. You had frozen pizza today? It looked decent, but taste it. Yeah, frozen pizza, man. I've only had one frozen pizza that I actually enjoyed. It was from Trader Joe's. It was made in Italy. It had, like, vegetables and stuff on it. It was the only, like, decent one that I've ever had. I'm not... I do not like frozen pizzas. Is dream is going great. How are you? Playing some Bloodborne, eating some pizza, living the life. He's been gone three weeks. Should we call someone? Who? Well, I don't have any fire paper. I don't have any beast blood pellets. Give me that face. Give me that ugly, beastly face. Ooh, a pizza. Mmm. He tried grabbing me between his legs. Reminded me of what your mom tried last night. Ho oh, ho ho! Got him! Pyramid Head wins. Yeah, the between the grab attack between the legs is sick. Uh 
All right, next up, we got some lower hinter tomb. Oh, I don't have the, the necessary requirements. Oh, I didn't pick up the extra bloodshot eyeballs, huh? It's fine. We could just buy them here. All right, lower hinter tomb it is. The doll is chaotic neutral. No, the doll is evil. Incorrect. Here we go. Ooh, I got shot. You play Elden Ring yet? Oh yeah, I played Elden Ring when it released, man. Put over 200 hours in our first playthrough. I just got kicked. You just beat Radon. Yo, Radon's a cool boss. I really like Radon. One of my favorites in the game. Same pizza from last week? Yeah, I only get it from one place around here. It's the only place that's decent. I gotta remember to get pellets, man. Radon took you about eight hours to kill. He took me a long time, too. I went there super early, refused to level up or anything. What do you think is better? Order your favorite pizza or margarita. Add to it what you have in the fridge. Oh, no. You got you to gotta cook stuff in the oven. I don't, I don't like just adding things on top of pizza. Either it's cooked with it or it doesn't go on it as far as I'm concerned. Fought. Oh, yeah, I did fight Radon with the sock puppet. Get racked. Climb the ladder, baby. More gots your recent Oh, I liked I liked that fight. That was pretty good. Do you like Silent Hill games? We were talking about that before. Never played one, but in October I'm thinking about playing uh, Silent Hill 2 for the first time. Seeing what it's uh, what it's all about. Silent Hill 2 is epic. You'll love it. <laughs> I don't think Silent Hill 2 is going to go 
like how you think it's gonna go, but we're gonna have fun with it, that's for sure. <laughs> I just wanted my pizza. Hey, St. Andrews, how's it going? Do you play standing? No, I don't, man. I actually play squatting, believe it or not. I like to, I like I like to I like to completely Where is my mouse, bro? Okay, let's squat. There we go. Hey, we squat on stream. All right, we'll get the fire paper. We'll put the beast blood on. Good to go. Way better than Amaranth, my squat form. Yo, Amaranth, I wanna challenge you to a squat challenge. Whoever does the most squats without stopping wins. Clip it and send it to her. <laughs> she squats, I don't know. How many slices of salad you have? She would whoop your butt. Johnny, have you seen my ass? Have you seen my gluteus maximus? It is amazing. Probably better than hers. She's got everything else on me, looks wise, but that my ass, she can't touch that. Can't touch it. Belongs to Hera. But she could look. <laughs> Bend over happily. Put it in. You have a better beard. Eh, you're right about that. What? Oh, he's trying to burn me. Burn, baby, burn. What? What? You couldn't get into the most recent God of War. You enjoyed the classics more. Yeah, I never played the classics. I'm gonna though.
Okay, yeah, I get it. You have a gun. I might have jumped a little too early there. Who is your standard of beauty? I am the standard of beauty. Me. All right, I'm not, I'm not playing until I finish my pizza. Gotta eat pizza crust first. That's just weird. <laughs> How do you hold it? Really? I'm I'm I, I'm running ads. You're so sleepy, can't even pay full attention to the stream? No worries, Nagy. Hera and I were watching the, the new Scream movie, Scream 5, last night. I fell asleep halfway through it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm officially an old man.
Finally. See, all I needed was the pizza, man. That's all I needed. Give me pizza or give me death. You saw the original Screams a few months ago? They're great. I like the first Scream. The next ones don't really do. I like Scream 1, Scream 3, Scream 2, Scream 4. In that order. Where am I going now? Is that fro a frosted pizza? Yeah, it's, it's frosted. Just like frosted flakes. There's there's a bunch of like white sugar powdered all over it. Hmm. Is it here? I don't I have no memory of this dungeon. I have no memory of this one. That is a cannon. Oh, I don't know if this is right. Definitely not. Where am I? Oh, I'm so lost. I got I got to just go back here. This is not correct. You were talking to a GameStop employee about FromSoft games and he said he didn't like the the parry mechanic in Sekido. All you heard him say was he can't parry. Yeah, I feel you on that. I feel you on that, that's for sure. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Open door left. Here. It's got to be this one. It's right here. Cool. Okay. Found it. Sorry, guys. Are dungeons randomly generated? No. When you're doing root chalices, though, you can get a, a random pre-generated one, though. But we're not doing root chalices, so these are all just as they are every single time. Why aren't ads showing for you? I really don't know why people don't get ads when I run them, man. I really don't get it. Maybe you live in a country where there's no ad revenue. That's the, that's the only thing that I can think of.
Probably, yeah, it's probably region based. Exactly. Jesus Christ, Mass. Um, oh, this is the lake with all the, the exploders, right? I gotta go across here. I'm fine. I can survive that. <laughs> okay. Maybe not. I thought I could, but may maybe, maybe not. Watching you play Bloodborne is extremely relaxing. Glad you like it. Straight, dude, that, that second, that second cannonball, it hit me straight on. Like, that was the most perfectly aimed cannonball in the history of video games. You've been farming Dark Souls 3 Covenant items for the Platinum the whole stream, and you've gotten 14 out of 30 in five hours. And that's why I'll never have the Dark Souls 3 Covenant items, because it's freaking nonsense. You gonna be a TwitchCon or Pax West? I uh, I don't know, man. It's, it's it's probably not. It's kind of far for me. As it's, it's all the way on another coast. I don't really know anybody going either. I guess except for you. <laughs> Jesus. Cool. You're planning on going to PAX? It'd be nice to meet you if you did go. Yeah, like I said, it's it's super far away. How much do how much do plane tickets cost across country now? I don't even I haven't even looked up a uh, plane ticket cost in a long time. Nothing if you sneak on. The, they always notice the beard, though. You fly all the time, cross country, 600 bucks. Vince said it was 900. Is Vince, is Vince going? It's a TwitchCon? No, that's why he's not. Damn. If there were like a bunch of people that I knew going, I'd be down. But like I said, I think it's just like out of all the people I know, I think just Johnny's going. <laughs> yeah. Scooch. Old Hunter Dev with the hundred bits. Enjoy your food, man. Enjoy your food. That one looks like an Elden Ring boss. Yeah, he could, he could fit in there. He's more of a Dracula kind of guy, but... Shouldn't have done that. I need more uh, blood echoes. It's okay. Cold blood flower buds. I need four of those.
All right, ailing Loran time. You've racked up tons of flight points? Oh, dude, yeah. If you have points, it's going to make it cheaper, I guess. Dude, this is the longest freaking hallway. Nice, got him. Thank you. Pyramid Head does not have a top. We don't have a top on. He's just got some rags on his chesticles. Or her. Loving the stream, man, is helping me get through my chores, but just having break for dinner, enjoy the chili. I was actually thinking about making chili soon. Chalice Sage is giving you a hard time. Eh, it, I, I'm fine dying there. It doesn't really mean anything. Where's the guillotine? There it is. Zeus can cook. I can cook some things. Yeah, I cook. I cook a lot of Italian food. Some some Mexican kind of stuff as well. It, it certainly beats paying for it. I re I refuse to pay for. Most Italian food, except for pizza, because places just charge too much for it. I can make it better for my, myself. Yo, love Lauren's layout. Yeah, I like this chalice too. It's up here. Cooked in New York strip last night, melt in your mouth. Dude, I got this I got this nice grill. I still haven't used it once. I just ah, dude, I have so much to do. I just I feel like I don't have time and then when I do have time, I don't want to do anything. You made homemade mac and cheese the first time ever last night? How to come out? I used to make more mac and cheese for dinner than I I haven't made that in a while. I haven't made it in a while. I got to make that again, too. Meanwhile, you grill like three to four times a week. I don't know what it is, man. I just, I'm just, I'm low energy these days. I don't know. Oh, I got to go this way. Used to microwave mac and cheese all the time, 2 a.m. in college. I still mic a mac microwave that the trader joe's hatch chili mac and cheese i still eat regularly they just opened a trader joe's near you haven't been there yet really oh you gotta go it's the good stuff. Yo, 
Oh, yeah, Aldi's not as good as Trader Joe's. I've never seen a food lion. Where, where are those about? When at PAX, there's a cheese place by the Pike Place Market. They got amazing mac and cheese. Again, I just had pizza and I'm getting hungry again. Currently smoking some beef chuck for barbacoa tacos tonight. Dude, that sounds like a really crazy marijuana strain. Food Lion is in Virginia and North Carolina. You love sucking meat? Me too, Justin. Oh, smoking. Smoking. My bad. Publix is where it's at. Honestly, there's nothing as good as a freaking farm market. Screw all the grocery stores. They all suck. Yeah, you'll never be able to hit me through there. Didn't even hit me. <laughs> Yuppies started going to the farmer's markets. Now they're overpriced as hell. Well, you got to go to like a specific farm's market. Don't go to the ones that's like, they got, they got a whole bunch of people from all over the place. I'm talking about like specific farms that have their own markets. Hit him with the jo Oh no! 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 Oh god. Oh. That was bad. Whew. We're pretty spoiled to have farms so close we can go easily. Hey, listen. P that's why I'm always like, you know, Jersey's not that bad of a place to live. I mean, it might be expensive as hell, but there's some good parts about it. There are. Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. 
You pick some sweet corn, sweet peppers, tomatoes, cantaloupes from your dad's farm on Saturday. That's going to be me next year, man. That's me next year. This fall, I'm setting up, I'm setting up the beds. I'm going to plant some onions because you got to plant them in the fall. And then we're going to be good to go. If only the price of wood would come down. It's like freaking $30 a plank for cedar. Oh, it's on the bridge, I think. Yep, there we go. Oh, god damn it. I gotta go back again. I gotta go through that damn building. Keep running up that road. No, wait, what is it? Yeah, keep running up that hill. Keep running up that building. <laughs> Good hunter with the hundred bits. Thank you so much. Tell me you're tired about hearing it every day from customers. So sell it for less, Mitch. Sell it for less. You won't hear it anymore. Look, I, I'm, I'm being, I'm, if only you could make those decisions. I'm not buying anything, okay? As an American who fully believes in capitalism and free markets and all this, I think that I'm being price gouged by every single company. I'm not paying for anything anymore. I'm doing everything myself and I'll pay less money that way. I am done with these prices. Done. I got, you laugh to hide the pain, bro. We had, we had, we called to get like a quick quote to do. We have an eight, eight by five bathroom, eight by five. It's as small a bathroom as possible. Okay. We got a quote. Where's this damn ritual blood? We got one coat quote for, let's see, what was it? It was like, it's not like bath fitter, but it's all prefabricated kind of like a plastic pr product. All right. I didn't like how it felt. Like comparing it to tile or anything like that. I didn't like it at all. It just looks and feels really cheap. This company wanted to charge $20,000 for an eight by five bathroom. We called a contractor up. In the area, they wanted $40,000. There is, there is absolutely no fracking way. No fracking way. 40K to do what, bro? I could... I could give you the most... Re for an 8x5 bathroom... You could do God knows what with it. You could pr you could probably have literally a golden freaking toilet bowl made out of gold for that. I don't understand how people are willing to pay these prices. Like there's there's just no way. You're having your your shower tub replaced and tile floor done for less than 12k. Yeah, see something like that is a little bit more reasonable. Honestly, like 12K is on the high end for an 8x5 as far as I'm concerned. On the high end. Like everything better be freaking perfect for, for 12. Selena Kyle with the 1500 bits. Gremlin with the 13 month, re the, the brand new subscription. Thanks Gremlin and Selena. Thanks so much for all those bits. Thank you so much. That's a lot of bits. 
We used to buy a tub shower combo for 200 bucks. Now they cost 700. Yeah, so basically I'm 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 redoing a bathroom, Dwayne. Like that's <laughs> I, Hera and I are going to redo the bathroom. <laughs> it's there's the Unless, unless we find a contractor who actually wants to be reasonable, it's just, uh, I'm not, it's just, it's, it's outrageous. It's just absolutely outrageous. 40K, they're just straight fracking you? Bro, 20K is just straight fracking you. You guys haven't built stuff recently? Prices are insane now? Oh, I get it, Angry Gamer. It's just like, for me, I know what things used to cost. I know what I'm capable of. And I, I know things are, listen, I know things cost more, but also the price of, of, of materials is just, no, those are not going rates. Those are going rates because people are willing to, to pay for it. Those are not, those are not typical rates. There's, there is no way that for two days work that a contractor needs to make ten twelve thousand dollars $12,000 on a bathroom. That's, I, I, I disagree. This is, this is. I, I was in that business. I disagree. For two days work for at max three people, one of them is a master plumber. The other's a good tile person and the other's a laborer. There is no way you can justify that you need to make twelve to $14,000 in two days. It doesn't. I, I disagree. It's not worth that. It's not worth that. I, I, th I think anyway. At least I don't make enough money for it to be worth that. I'd, I'd rather do it myself. <laughs> what if it's the materials? It, no, it's, it's mostly a labor thing. It's mostly a labor, man. For an 8x5 bathroom, I mean, there's some materials, but uh, tile's not going to cost you an insane amount unless you're, you're, spending, you're getting some sort of fancy-ass ass tile. Um... Like what a a a, a forty eight inch vanity? You got you get you got you got a tub or something? That's what people are willing to pay. I think Americans are insane, man. I think I think Americans are just absolutely insane. People won't do labor anymore either. See, that's the thing. I I don't know. Should I just stop being a Twitch streamer? I can go back into countertops and do bathrooms, guys. I mean, I, I might be able to make more money. <laughs> if, if, if people really are willing to pay these prices, man, I, I might not have made the, the right decision years ago. I completely forgot what I'm doing. I don't know where I am. I think we go down here. Stream installing bathrooms. I hope this is the right way. Uh, I'm sort of, I'm honestly just wandering aimlessly right now because I do not know. There, we found it. Sometimes wandering does work. Oh, there's a Loran uh, mage right there. Because no one knows how to do it anymore. It's true. It's true. I mean, there used to be a labor, a lot of laborers in this country. And I feel like my generation, myself included, stopped doing it. Now, which, uh, I think it's this way, right?
Ah, uh, dude, that uh, that is a little ridiculous. <sighs> Getting to Thumerian Queen for you was such a pain the first time, seemingly impossible without a guide. It's not impossible, but it's definitely super easy to get lost in these places and not know where you're going. I don't exactly recommend doing it without a guide. If they're charging that much, you should just stop being an engineer in, in Mexico and become a contractor in the U.S. <laughs> in Canada, our main grocery store company complained that they were struggling and needed to raise prices to make up for supply chain issues. Then they reported a 40% increase in profit. Yeah. Listen, you guys want to rebel? I'll, I'll rebel with you. I, I'll, we can organize a revolution. <laughs> like I said, I'm just not paying for anything. <laughs> the revolution will be streamed. I'm just not paying for anything. That's it. I pay for food and that's it. Nothing else. Bring on the recession. You need communism? <laughs> yeah, because I want to be like China and Russia and Venezuela. That is not what we need. <laughs> you freaking nutbags. <laughs> yeah, let's make things even worse. <laughs> It's coming. Yeah, not in my country. I only like some communism. Not to not total communism. You give me a socialist program here and there for things that are necessary. I'm fine with that. Straight up communists? No. Uh uh. Frack! Bloodborne's communist! You meant the recession? Ah, oh, God. Stream latency makes it hard to talk sometimes. It makes it hard to talk, but yeah. That's called social capitalism, free market with some caps. That's that's what I'm that's that's what I, I think works or works the best. Free market, but some things uh, need to be capped and there needs to be some limit. Some limit. Not like I'm talking about extreme limits. I'm talking about extreme limits. Did we get it? No. Damn, damn, damn. That doesn't sound like a free market. Yeah, it's a free market up until a point. That's exactly what I said. Up until a point. Certain things. You, you t I mean, like, come on. Like, supply and demand only, only work so far until the entire world is like on the same page. And, and businesses and corporations and conglomerates just start price fixing.
Zeus be a Saudi prince? I'm honestly waiting for the uh, the the Saudi golf tour, the LIV, to 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 make me an offer. I would totally play golf. Susie, dad, you got it. <laughs> so this is layer three, right? Okay, let's go this way. You tried making eggs, it ended up looking like the one reborn. You have a no skit, no stick skillet, man. Got to, got to have the no, sn the no stick. Nice cap, digging the off-white color. Thanks, dude. Is that a monochrome cap? It's gr it's like gray with blue. It's got a peach underbrim. Ba 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 ba. All right, one more thing to get. One more thing to back to get. Did you play Dread Hunter? Dread Hunter. Never even heard of it. Now. Nah. Cool. Wow. Just just deleted there. Just absolutely deleted. I just priced out your bathroom because why do actual work? 8,200. You're hired. <laughs> oh. I, I went the wrong way. God damn it. That sounds like a legit price. That that's more in line. Listen, when I, when we had the we when we had the bath fitter but not actually bath fitter guy come here, both Hera and I were thinking like after we saw the the materials we're like, wow, this is kind of like junky, but maybe maybe it it'll be like a real real nice price, like $7,000, $8,000. <laughs> nope, it's it that's going to be $20,000. I told the guy, well, at those prices, you're basically now, like, forcing to compete with me. And then when he said, eight, then, then when I said, uh, like, he asked, he, what did he ask me? He asked me what I expected the price to be, and I, I told him, like, eight, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000, somewhere in, in that neighborhood. And he was like, for eight to twelve thousand, that that's gonna be what you're gonna be paying yourself if you did it yourself. It's like, yeah. okay, yeah, okay. For twenty k, they better wipe your ass for you upon request for the first year. It just, it's nonsense, bro. 
nonsense. How big is the bathroom? It's an eight by five bathroom. That's a lot of money. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's just another company that's trying to justify insanely overpriced materials that are low quality and just they're gonna they're gonna make so much money on that man they would make so much money on that for for max two days work for them your parents got a 50k original quote they came back with tr triple that after they made concessions their walkthrough and plan 20k 8 by 5 yeah man I was I, I could not believe it it'll probably cost you 4 to 5 grand plus your time to do your yeah exactly Dwayne it's not a he, he, he said he said wait do you find out how much a valve is gonna cost I literally just like this dude's trying to make it like 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 the valves in the bathroom and it costs like thousands of dollars like, dude, do, like, are, are people really that stupid? Like, bro. <laughs> that did not hit me. That did not hit me. Valves are in shortage like the PS5. <laughs> what kind of valve? Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't, listen, for sale, like... In terms of like the guy's sales techniques, like he he sort of it, it seemed like he he attended like an introduction to sales class six years ago, and he kind of learned what he needed to do, but then has since forgotten everything. Like I he never he never once got me to say that like the materials were really high quality even though like he asked me many many times. That's one of the things that you want to do with sales. You want you want to make sure that like the the people are are comfortable with with the company itself, they're comfortable with you as a salesman, that they like the product, that they think the product is the kind of quality that they're looking for. It is a very important thing in terms of getting a sale. Obviously, you, like you need your customer to acknowledge that the, the product you're selling them is is what they want. It's what they like. I never once said that. Never once. I flat out ignored it because I thought it was garbage. I thought it was it feels like plastic like they, they make it. They mimic it. So it looks like tile. It's laser etched. It's like you can't get this anywhere else. Yeah, no kidding. Because it feels and looks like garbage. You laser, you pretend it's tile. You laser, you laser a line on, good sir. $20,000. 20 for plastic. For plastic. Where do I even where is the lamp? Dude, just send just send me home. Those guys are about to retire with that and those riches. I think they're gonna put 12k dollars under the toilet somewhere. Yeah, their toilet, not mine. I'm recently disabled and needed a ramp added onto my house and got a quote for 22 for a foot ramp at for a 22 foot ramp at 15k. We got the ramp installed, self-installed for 4K. It's just like that's guy. I, I, I'm talking about this because I want you guys to be aware that the, these prices are crazy, but you can still get you can still get good contractors to do it for reasonable prices. You do not need to go with the the people with the the insane Google reviews that were obviously bought and paid for. Okay, you don't need to go for that. They definitely intend to rip you off. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. All 
I did not get beast blood pellets. God damn it. I'm just, I'm, ta I'm talking. I'm not paying attention about the game anymore. You gotta shop around. Well, listen, the first price was 40K. The second price is 20. Maybe the third one will be 10. <laughs> Each one where we're, we're, we're arguing, uh, we're, we're getting 50% of a discount. They saw the beard and thought, this guy's from Asgard. Let's squeeze him for the gold. And like, I, listen, normally I won't tell people like what I did. But like, I, I, you know, I told him I was in the industry and he still gave me that price. Hmm. Hmm. And I was really surprised he didn't even like try to like negotiate down either. Like he, like he just laid that out. I basically said no. And he was like, well, I'm going home. <laughs> like, not, e not even a little bit of a discount. Okay. 20k, huh? Beast blood pellets. That's what we're needing. That's always fun. Love when lawn spray guys t try to tell you about landscaping. Bro, I've seen hundreds upon hundreds of lawns in my life. <laughs> Imagine that he thought that he was giving you a deal because you were in the industry and what he would have charged you if you weren't. That actually is a scare. Like that, you know, that is kind of a scarier thought, but I can't even, uh, dude, I can't, I can't even imagine. I really, I really can't imagine looking at people with a straight face with prices like that oh my god my auntie needs to move in and her and my father hate each other this should be interesting have fun god damn this stupid spider Every single time it's killing me when I stop to check my buffs and talk to my Twitch chat. Every single time the stupid spider. You'd honestly reach out to a family member to see if they had someone they trust. Well, listen, most of the people in my family who like I used to work with and stuff, like I worked with my grandfather, I worked with my uncle. Um, they would have been able to give me guys, but that was a long time ago. My uncle that's still alive and does things. Let me, let me, let me put it to you this way. When I was new with my business, uh, my uncle gave me a very, uh, a good customer, right? And I ended up building a lot of things for this guy. And he ended up scamming me and screwing me and like refusing to pay me for, for a certain thing. And I, I, I talked to my uncle about it, like what was going on and explaining everything. And he, my uncle literally just looked me in the eye and said, you're just going to have to eat it. So ever since then, I've just, I've realized that that's not my uncle. He's a total piece of trash that would rather defend someone who he does business with than his family, which is kind of, which is kind of on par with his personality and everything because when, when my grandparents died, uh, there was a whole bunch of jewelry that him and his wife, they like went over and like they tried stealing the jewelry. Uh, they also like just like threw out a whole bunch of things that like the rest of the family wanted as well. Um, yeah, they're just, uh, they're just, they're just like fake ass people. You know what I mean? They're just fake ass people. Yeah, exactly, Gary. Sounds like your family. Blood is not thicker than water. Yeah, I, I've learned that, unfortunately. I've learned that. Your uncle owes you about $7,000 for work we did to their house. They're about that close to a mechanics lien. Is this on your dad's side? No, no, it's actually not. 
No, it's not. Sounds like people you don't want to associate with. Yeah, I'm just listen. Also, like when I was when I was in high, uh, college, right? Like we we still have like like you know we'd have family get-togethers. There's like 20, 20 cousins, right? We'd all we'd all celebrate the birthdays and whatnot. You know, in college, I don't really like I, I never had a party for my birthday or whatnot. But people would still give you a card and like a little gift, maybe some money, a little present, whatnot. Dude, these. I was now, in, at this time, I was sick, okay? My whole family knew I could barely eat food. I weighed 120 pounds, 5 foot 11. Alcohol, if I drank one drink, it would send me into a fit. Like, I would, I would just be nauseous for days, okay? This dude, for I think six years, gave me a bottle of wine, a cheap ass bottle of wine that was clearly re-gifted for Christmas, for my birthday, for years. <laughs> Not family. Not family. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. Do you associate with any relatives? Yeah. Really? Okay. Right in his face. Really? Okay. This type of real talk is what makes me always come back to the stream. Hey, I'm honest, man. Black Mamba with the three-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks, Black Mamba. Good Hunter with the 100 bits as well. Thank you. Imagine this boss is your uncle and punish him. No, that's not uh, like that, that. That doesn't accurately reflect my feelings. I'm not I'm not violent. Okay. Wow, the distance on that arm. The Mantis with the brand new subscription. Thomas Bolivar with the brand new back to back subscription. Welcome in. Thanks for the brand new subs. It's sad more than rage inducing. Yeah, it's more it's more just like uh I don't know. My my family was a lot different or at least it seemed like there it was a lot different before my grandparents passed away and then I guess the uh, the, the glue was undone.
You just sub and you do this? You don't have to apologize for, subs for subscribing to the stream. Thank you so much, Mantis. That's a classic. Same here. The whole family stopped pretending they really loved each other once the grandparents passed. Uh. I need more blood vials. Did you miss Defiled Watchdog? No, you did not. Your streams are funny. I'm glad you like them. Oh, uh, that's not enough. I need more. That happened when your parents died? Yeah, it's pretty common. Getting hyped for football? No, I'm a baseball, basketball kind of guy. What makes you stay in the stream are how morons and chatter handled. More like how uh, the morons and chat's moms are and how they're handled. Something like that. It's late in the day. My wordsmithing abilities are not as good as they should be. That was a big strike. Oh, he's trying. Dude, he blew me. Oh, I forgot he could blow me. Your family is constantly looking for hands outs from you. That's why. You tell them you have a Twitch streamer that you need to give the handouts to. All right? <laughs> Zeus, I kind of want to see you with a really long eyebrows as well. Kind of like Pai Mei from Kill Bill. Long eyebrows? I don't know about that. I, I don't, also can't grow my eyebrows. I don't, know, I don't know how you would grow your eyebrows out. Do people, do people, like, is that, is that really a thing that you could do? Not a giraffe with the two-month Twitch primary subscription. Thanks, giraffe. God damn it, man.
It'll happen when you hit 50? No, I'm, I'm making sure everyone thinks that I'm... I have no money. I've got nothing. I spent it all on video games. Why, how is that hitting me? Spend it all on video games and chain pizza restaurants. That's it. I'm sorry this guy's killing me. I think I lost focus with this discussion. I meant grow out your eyebrows. God damn it. <laughs> Vicky what Sweets with the 500. I was like, doing a great job. Oh my god. Thanks, Vicky. <laughs> I appreciate it. Six hours. Damn. I must be doing something right. That is not true. I'm getting my ass kicked here. The quality of the Bloodborne Chalice bosses makes me realize how disappointed the Elden Ring catacombs were. Going into Elden Ring, that was one thing that I was looking forward to. Like, man, the chalices in Bloodborne were really cool, but there's a little, a little too much repetition. Let's see what they're going to do in Elden Ring to fix all that. And they just, they just literally made it worse. Like, they, they made worse Chalice dungeons. I don't understand. Still don't get that. Got very close at the end there. I need to quiet up and uh, focus a little bit. That guy's that guy's a good boss. That's a good boss. Nothing. Some focus. Yeah, that's it, man. Like I, I said, I was out of focus. I was just focusing on the conversation, and here we go.
What is the next chalice we need? Defiled? I could do that. I need uh, the haze extractor though. How many bosses left? I got, I mean, we got like th uh, three here, three, six, nine, I had 10, 11 bosses, something like that. Is there only one character or variety of characters in Thymesia? I don't know, sorry. Three, six, nine, one more time. Suck it to me, suck it to me one more time. Get low. Get low, get low, get low, get low, get low, get low. To the window! To the wall! <laughs> that song, man. Zeus EP when? Dude, my Bloodborne mixtape is dropping soon, man. You triggered my trap card. Wait, did I go the wrong way? No, I died. Woohoo! Close. Something tells you Thymesia will be mid at best. I'll take a mid-tier game. I'm fine with that. There's got to be a feature with Swamp Tick. Oh, Lord, his palms are sweaty. These weak arms are heavy. They vomit on a sweater already. It's his mom's spaghetti. He's nervous. I don't, I don't know if uh, Swamp Tick raps the best. Wolong in the RE4 remake? Ugh, Resident Evil 4. I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, don't fight that lady. Or guy, or dude. I don't know what it is. It's, it's got skulls. Did you go to Woodstock in 99? No. I'm playing through Resident Evil 4 right now, and boy, do I remember it playing a lot better than it does. That's like, dude, like there's such hardcore nostalgia when it, when it comes to Resident Evil games. I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't know how you guys deal with it. Is this running a 60 FPS mod? Nope. Just 30 FPS here. If you're nostalgic for a game, you tend not to play it because I, I know it won't live up to the memory. I don't know. I, I could under I, I I can understand what you're saying. I, I definitely get it. But like I, I I'd say I'm nostalgic for like the original Super Mario Brothers, Mary, Mario 64, Star Fox 64, like even Galaga, something like maybe like a House of the Dead. 
I don't know. Like, I, I'll, I'll play them every now and then. I, I know they have flaws, but I still enjoy them. Oh, I'm so going to die a hundred times here. Smokey Joe Jackson. Nice. I actually first tried the keeper. No gun cheese. Ooh, I'm getting decent at this game. I'm getting decent. I, I love I love how there's an FPS nerd that can't tell the different like literally asked if the game was in 60 FPS couldn't tell with their own eyes but apparently it makes a big difference if the game is 60 FPS or not even if you can't tell with your own eyes makes sense bro really makes sense if you need to ask what the FPS is it doesn't matter Proof. You've mastered the game and didn't even notice. <laughs> I can't tell, but it really matters. Just a, just a little bit of a hypocrisy there. Or an, no, not a hypocrisy. That's more of an irony. I'm sorry. My brain's not working. I'm thinking about banging your mom. Uh, where am I going? Doorway left. Once you got into the game, didn't bother you anymore? Yeah, so I've been playing like I've been playing like DS3, DS2. They were they were 60 FPS. When I when I loaded up Bloodborne today, I immediately, immediately could tell I was not playing a 60 FPS game. I forgot about it in five minutes. Maybe maybe less than five minutes. Do I go up these stairs or do I go backwards? Go upstairs. I, I, I think these stairs. Sorry for asking. That was so stupid of me. I should know better. Yes. I appreciate the apology, Hyperion. And recognize... Yeah, I appreciate that. Good on you. <laughs> Taking ownership. <laughs> You'd rather have good gameplay over uh, FPS? Yeah, I'm in the same boat. Nice. Who would you say is a harder boss, Sword Saint Ishin or Demon of Hatred? I would go with Sword Saint Ishin is harder. If you, if you made it so that 
Sword Saint took the same amount of damage Demon of Hatred did, you would have a harder time with Sword Saint. A lot of Demon of Hatred's difficulty comes from its health pool. Its health pool. Let me get, um, hold on. Nice, Justin. Hope you're enjoying it more. I want to get my 100k back. I kind of need it. Eh, need it. I want it. I want it. Give it to me. You got stuck at Demon of Hatred, haven't gone back since. It's a boss that I definitely... I'm glad that I, I finally learned how to fight it. Because I do have a lot of fun fighting it. Most of the time. Although, honestly, it's never fun fighting it when you uh, almost kill it, but then it, it kills you, and then you got to do it all again. It's, you, dude, it's a super long fight. Three health bars on a demon's a bit too much. Yeah. Honestly, like, I don't really mind something like that being in the game, man. I really, I really just don't mind it. Got to have at least one marathon. Yeah, it's it's literally end game content. It's a, it's a special fight. You don't even need to find it. It's optional. It's I, I I'm I'm fine with it being how it is. Where would you rank Millennia compared with the rest of the Soulsborne? And say it. I can't I can't do that, man. I've only I've only beaten her once. It's I can't. I need to play the game more. In order to give you, like, my kind of criticism that you're used to, I just, I just can't. Uh. Alright, now we can go and fight some bosses. Is this 60 FPS? Man. Dude, we're getting them all today. We're getting them all. It is not 60 FPS. Web is trolling. So where am I? Is this layer two? Where am I right now? No, I haven't killed Amygdala yet. Okay, so this is defilement layer two.
Oh, where's the elevator? To be fair, the game is so good and looks so smooth, it tricks people. Oh, definitely, man. You guys see a chest? I found it. Yeah, buddy. Stream looks so good today. Always the last place you look. Yeah, I could have just turned to the right, but instead I went all the way around left. You see a chest, all right? Yeah, it's big, isn't it? When Bloodborne came out, you don't think about anyone cared about 60 FPS console games? No, it wasn't around back then. When the PS4 released, the big selling point was 1080p, bro. It was 1080p. Was it actually? Yep. It was the first it was the first console that was 1080p native. The PS3 you got to remember was 720. It's fine. Yeah, I had an Xbox and a, and a 360. There's no reason to have an Xbox now because they just put everything on PC anyway. So I'll probably never have another one, but I liked I really liked the the first two consoles. Three sixty days were the best. Until you got the red ring of death, that is. I'm fine. I can survive that. <laughs> Curb stomp. Didn't they advertise it as 1080p 60, but almost no games could handle? No, I don't. I listen. I could be is so long ago, but I don't recall the six. I don't recall 60 FPS being a marketing point in the PS4. It was all about the 1080. I don't even know, like, is there even a game on the PS4 that ran at 60 FPS? Like, it's just not, just not really possible for games on the console like that. Oh, I don't have beast blood now. Damn it. Who doesn't bring beast blood pellets to defiled watchdog, dude? There were a few, 17 games, but oh, mostly end of generation. Yeah, that makes sense. How many unique dungeon bosses are there in Bloodborne? Ooh, that, that's a good one, man. Uh, there's got to be at least like 10 or 15. Maybe even more. Oh, I forgot the beast blood pellets. What level am I? 
You hated the Thumerian champion, the elder? I love that guy. I love that guy. I think you're wildin' if you hate him. You're also not not as good a player. Oh, that that listen, that's fair as hell. That is totally fair. Bloodborne's only your second souls like. Elden Ring was your first. Wow. So you're you're kind of working backwards. That's crazy. Play all the other ones. They're good. They're not, uh, they're not as good, but they're good. Definitely play Sekiro. Definitely. Why do you kill her before? She's evil. I'm being stupid. I'll be right back. Gotta run to the bathroom. Well, would you look who it is, Mr. Barbarous King. Thanks for the raid, man. How's it going? This streamer is great. You're right, I am great. That's why Barb raids me all the time. <laughs> I think. Thanks again, man. Let's go, Mets. You know it. Ads after a raid? Uh, don't worry. If you guys want me to run ads, I'll run ads. I'll run them for you. Chelsea Danger with the 34-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks, Chelsea. Okay, so we're doing a true all-bosses run. Every boss in Bloodborne. Main game, optional, DLC, all the story chalices. True all-bosses, and we're playing as female, female pyramid head. We're in the Defiled Chalice right now, and this is the easiest boss in the game. So we're probably going to win real easy. Demzix with the 22-month resubscription. Thanks, Dem. I 
I'm dead. <laughs> that attack was a bit slower than I thought. That was, that was a bit slower than I thought it was going to be. In my attack. It just took way too long. Easy. That was, that was a death for entertainment purposes. I, I wanted it. What even is that emote? What is that? Is that a... What? Barb, I don't know what that is. I, have, I, I don't know what that is. It's a Keck demon? It's a... Wh what even... I don't know. That's not... That's a, bl that's a blob. It's not. Why are you guys spamming this this garbage tier emote? That is that is literally Barbarous King's worst emote. That is not. Where's the Barb Toxic? Oh my god! Now I'm gonna have to deal with this thing. Ugh. Don't raid me anymore, Barb. This emote's too bad. Yeah, Barb. To that's an emote. Barb Toxic. Keck. What is it? What even is it? What is, what is even the moniker for it? Barb Kecked. It's like a, it's like a, what is that from? Is that like a doom thing? Is that, is that doom? Is that what that is? Doom. Okay. Doom. It has, it has caco demons. Hey, Spaghetti, how's it going, dude? Hope you've been well, man. Caco Demon. Your mom calls me a Caco Demon. Just signed on for a new job today. Is it in the industry you wanted? The sex industry? Mom jokes are always great. Swing and a miss. This all seems to be going well. Yeah, B Specs. I, I actually wrote the book on how to uh, how to kill this boss. Unfortunately, I burned the book immediately after I wrote it, and I didn't didn't contribute it to my memory. So I remember nothing about the book, but I did write it. Pedo Man. No, I'm not gonna call you Pedo Man. Pete that dude, that name. That name needs changing. Pedo Man? That still doesn't sound, that still, that doesn't, you need to change that, bro. You need, you need to, you need to change. <laughs> Pet omen, om, that, that needs, that needs changing. Okay. That needs, <laughs> that needs changing. <laughs> Thanks for the resub though. Dude, this this dog is being wily today. I don't know why I went for that. I'm a doofus. It somehow worked. Get away, get away. Oh, bro.
You're missing these games so much? Well, get back. Like, you, what have you been even playing lately? You've got, you have Doom emotes now? What, what are you doing? You used to be a Mario Soulsborne streamer, and now you're playing everything. A, a variety, Barb. <sighs> you used to do Dark Souls randomizers every day for like six months. God damn it! Why do I suck so bad today? What am I, I do? This weapon is garbage tier for me. It's so slow. Like Bloodborne, I'm used to attack, dodge, attack, dodge, attack, dodge. But this weapon, it's Ugh. die. Stupid ass pyramid cosplay build idea. I don't, I don't even have the I don't even have beast blood pellets to be dying like this. Have you eaten already? Yeah, I ate. I know Barb said something, but I'm ignoring him purposely. Last time I was in Barb's channel, he didn't even notice me. He's got too many viewers now. And it's not, not like his fault, like literally, legitimately just to, like, I talk and then people just talk and erase my comment. It's annoying, Barb. Actually, I have you blocked. Frack off. <laughs> That's why Barb and I get along. We treat each other like garbage. I don't remember which which limbs I've broken. Oh, give me that head. Damn it, I wanted that. No! Whoa, bro! That was insanely quick. That was insanely quick. Beat the watchdog with this weapon. Took 40 tries. Yeah, this is the defiled version. I don't know why this guy's giving me a giving me a problem right now. I need bolt papers. Uh-oh. How much madman's knowledge do we have? Okay, we got enough. I need bolts. <sighs> Losing insight quick. I've been, I've been fooling around. I, I haven't been focused. I, I've just keep dying and dying and dying. I used to be good at games. I no longer care. Hmm, do I want to sell? Do I have anything to sell? I mean, those are like... Super expensive. Eh, what are you gonna do? What do you think of Pyramid Head and DBD? He's just like every other DBD killer. Garbage. Hate that game. 
Getting one shot by the amygdala here was so much fun. I mean, but of all the bosses to one shot you, like it's pretty big, you know. It's a, it's a big lady. There's a lot of mass behind that that mushroom there. Chat is going so fast. Zeus won't notice me. Hey Zeke, I notice everything. You can't you can't just slip in here. And think I won't notice. Hope you've been well. Oh God! Okay, now I got I got some I got some good damages in there. I hope I don't die here. Okay, Whew. I'm dead. How to use the shield. Oh, the whiff, Zeus. I'm whiffing. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Whew. Dodged away. I, I, do honestly, I feel like I pressed the button. I really, I really feel like I pressed the button there. I've been streaming seven hours. I just suck. Touch that hammer. Does it sweat lava sometimes? Yep, it does. That's exactly what it does. All right, I can't fool around anymore. I actually need to get this guy beaten. We're just, we're just gonna do it this way. Okay, finally got him on a little bit of a cycle here. He's gonna blow. I went back in too early. Damn it! And I'm all out of stuff. Dude, I'm doing like no damage with this weapon. Wrong one. I wanted to hit the other side. Just keep getting stomped real quick. <sighs> Just keep getting stomped, man. Imagine being a speedrunner and still having issues beating a boss. Well, this isn't the speedrun weapon. It's a little bit slower, and I haven't done speedruns in God knows how many years, man. Hagida with the 36-month resubscription. Thanks so much, Hagida. Thank you so much. The stomp is so stupidly fast. Yeah, so if you don't understand what's happening, like most weapons in Bloodborne are a little bit faster than this. This one is, it just, if I swing, he just has enough time where he can kill me with that stomp.
I'm dead. So close. No, I didn't, re dude. No, really. I'm washed. This thing's a one shot machine. Yeah, I all, like, like I said, I've been fooling around this playthrough. I'm not the right level. I'm like, I'm level 65. Normally, I would do this with 50 HP instead of 30. So everything's just one-shotting me. Send your package to get it in two to three weeks. Nice. There it is. Whew. Had a focus, like I said. Had a focus. Took long enough. Is it, it's the other way. Such a cool boss. Yeah, one of my favorites in the game. Well done. Thanks, Tome. Beautiful. Was that no hit? Uh, it might have been. It might have been. I wasn't really paying attention. To that anyway. Okay, let's see what we have here. I think I go here. I am dead. There we go. Cool. Never beat this boss. My Oh, you haven't beaten that boss? Yeah, there's a few bosses you need to go back and beat then. Chalices are worth doing. You, you get really awesome boss fights. From soft dogs. It's more the, uh, the door that got me killed there. But if I was being smart, like I'd probably do something like this.
Chalices are worth it. A little repetitive, but not bad. Yeah, they're not. Uh, they're not like uh, Elden Ring dungeons. That's for sure. <laughs> I don't know where to go here. Jump. That doesn't make sense. I am not going the right way. Kill me. I read it wrong. It's the other door. Hey, Torbus. I'm doing all right, man. How are you? You think about the chalices as, as if they're DLC? Uh, yeah, but they're not even though, right? Like it's, it's really just a section of, ga of the game that a lot of people just don't even attempt. And to me, they're very worth it. Hagida, thanks for again for the 36 months. Cuddle Bish with the two month resubscription. And Torbus with the 54 month Twitch Prime. Thank you guys so much. Sorry it took me too, uh, a little long. You don't hate the Elden Ring dungeons that much. You do wish they were a little less more consequential. I just, I, I find them to be. 10 times more repetitive with very, very, like you said, there's no, you, you don't get anything from it. You don't, you don't really even get cool boss fights from them. You get unique items and summons, though? Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, just missed the sweet chin music. Rip the hitless run. We did the entire game up until this point hitless, and we just lost it. Unbelievable. And now I'm actually dead. <laughs> Okay, animation cancel much? Jesus. Freaking laser beams now. You made a mess everywhere. You made a mess everywhere, you stupid mushroom. Crotch shot! Oh, right in the crotch. No way. What hit me? What hit me? I can't with this game today. I can't. I can't. I can't. <sighs> ah. 
How do Elden Ring dungeons the dungeons compare with Bloodborne chalices? Well, you know how there's there's Thumeria, there's Loran, there's Ayaz. All these dungeons have different layouts and they look different. Yeah, there's none of that. It's just all the same dungeon over and over and over again. Man, I I I actually need more more beast blood here. And there's no cool bosses at the end of them either. I don't know. We might fail this run. I got, I got, I got some more insight left, though. Funny, because all the chalices in Bloodborne look the same to you, then you're blind. It, like, if you're going to say that Thumeria and Hintertomb look the same, absolutely. I mean, there's certain aspects, like the... the the, the the hallways before the room, sure. But there's there's noticeable differences between Thumeria, Loren, and Iaz. Noticeable. If you if you can't see him, you're just blind. It's fine to be blind. It's okay. Do you think it's fair to critique blood files. Uh, no, it's a survival horror game. You need to focus on your consumables and not spend them egregiously. Not everything is free. That's why dark. That's why people like Dark Souls more is because it's easier. You were trying to think what were the best Elden Ring dungeon bosses, but don't have an answer. Listen, I know I'm not knowledgeable about it. I played it once, but there was not one dungeon boss that I thought was worth it. You, there are also noticeable differences between caves, mines, and catacombs in the Elden Ring. Okay, so we're not talking about... The, of course there's a difference between the caves, the mines, and the catacombs. We're, we're talking about just the catacombs there. Just the catacombs. The stompy cat statues. Listen, that's like... Okay, to me that's, a fu that's funny, and I don't mind that that's in the game. I actually like that it's in the game, but I'm not calling that a good boss. I'm not calling that a good boss. All right, that's not blood. That's not bloodletting beast. That's not defiled watchdog. That's not Thumerian elder or descendant or anything like that. It's it's a it's a silly cat that jumps up and down. It's hilarious, but it's it's a cat. <laughs> Perfect. Definitely, definitely perfect. I did that on purpose. I'm running ads. Do I have any bounties? Barb, why are you raiding me when I don't have any Twitch bounties? Come on, man. Ugh. Stream Legends of Rune Terra for an hour? Yeah, okay. Not trying to defend Elden Ring in any way, just trying to think of some of the dungeon bosses from the game. Are there... Well, those of you who are familiar with, with Elden Ring, are there any really good, unique dungeon bosses? I was too close.
<sighs> you really like Elden Ring, but there aren't any good dungeon bosses. Elden Ring absolutely has a lot of issues. It's all Tani Mura's fault. You hope the Elden Ring DLC adds more uniqueness to it? No, I hope it just adds like 12 ulcerated tree spirits and another boss on a horse. I was rolling! Guys, I'm just pretending to die to pad my content. That's all. Just, I'm pretending. You love Elden Ring, but it's obviously far from a perfect game. Yeah, listen, I, I consider Elden Ring to be an awesome game that just happens to have... Tani Mura as the director, so all of its awesomeness is just going to be bogged down by small rooms of 35 of the same enemy and fighting the same bosses over and over again. It's just how he makes games. Goop everywhere. What is wrong? Why am I so dumb, man? Where do you think you're going? Wait a minute, Tani Mura directed Elden Ring? Yeah, he was a co-director. I didn't have much of a trouble with the double crucible night. But I can understand not liking it. Crotch shot! <gasps> Avert thine crotch! There's the crotch shot. Alright. Did you do the hor ice horse valley? No, I didn't. I... I... I had a specific, the final day, I had a specific amount of time and I was asking chat to tell me where to go and they do not like, seriously, they wouldn't tell me where it was. They wouldn't tell me where it was. So I didn't do it. I, I, I did. I, I, I finished with like a minute left. I had to go. Hera had a doctor's appointment. I would have done it, but maybe next time I, I will be playing more of the Dark Souls games on this stream. Okay, so what's next? We did Defiled. Uh, Lower Loran. Lower Loran. I need Blooming Cold Blood Flowers. I need four of them. I didn't, I didn't pick up the Blooming Cold Blood Flower Buds. All right, well, we failed the run. I didn't pick them up? What do you mean I didn't pick them up? I've been doing everything. Blooming cold blood flower. 
What are you on about, video game? I have three. For frack's sake, I need one more. For frack's sake, the goddamn cold blood flowers, I missed one. <sighs> what do you mean, cannot find it? It's liter- All right, I guess I'll look with my eyes. I look with my eyes. All right, so hold on here. Where is this? Ailing Loran. Layer three. I think that's maybe where I missed it. Ailing Loran layer three. I hope that is. You're back, how's the run going? Oh, uh, it's taken a little longer than I wanted it to, but it's going, man. Welcome back. So this would be in the pre-boss room, if this is the one that we missed. And we'll know that because the door will not be open. It is open. Frack! Maybe, maybe it's just... Maybe I just missed one of the chests. Maybe I just missed one. You did miss one chest, you think? Okay. Orphan tougher than millennia? Hard to... You di you distracted me on purpose, didn't you, Barb? You you di you distracted me on purpose, so I would fall through the stupid hole, right? Is is this what I need? That is. Maybe another chest. Something else. Just a little morsel? Not even a smithereen? Alright, we'll do it again. Just that one stupid move determines the whole fight. And it, it's, a, it's a shame. That move is so weird. It's such a weird move. It's really hard to know how hard the fight is without that move. See, like, when people tell me they don't like the chalices, like, I feel like you've never been in here. Now, I, I, I could understand not liking the, the core content, I guess. You know, it is a maze. It's a labyrinth. You're supposed to get lost. But, man, I don't know. I, lo I love this place. <laughs> Fine. Uh. Really? Oh, I think mm. I know what I'm doing wrong. I know what I'm doing wrong. This is not where I'm supposed to be going. The healing is whatever. It's the waterfowl attack. Yeah, that that attack. And if you see people dodge it, it's so weird how how they how you manipulate around it. Nothing justifies Millennia's healing. 
All right, nothing in all of Bloodborne justifies how you can heal. I mean, that... The healing is awesome. I love the healing. I do not mind that. I think it's a great mechanic. Don't get hit. Andrew Big Hog with the nine-month resubscription. Thanks so much. Enjoy your brand new slug baby. Make sure you slime it every single day. Thank you so much, Andrew. This is where I go. This is the room. Okay, so are there any open chesticles? Pfft, for frack's sake. I opened it. I literally opened it, and I just never picked it up. All right, well, at least we figured out pretty quickly what it was. You watch Let Me Solo Her dodge it? Yeah, well, let me talk to you about Let Me Solo Her. He's not able to dodge this, all right? He can't dodge this. Namkai Bandai sent Let Me Solo Her a sword. A sword. A nice fancy sword. This is what they sent me. Literally an Elden Ring dildo. This is what I got. They sent me, they, they overnighted a big giant box in a giant chest. You open it up, there's a poster, and then there's this. It's, it's literally an Elden Ring dildo. So I want Let Me Solo Her to solo this. I solo it all the time. He hasn't responded though. Not, no response. Z y you want me to kiss the Elden Ring shard? Hmm. Ooh. Thank you, Namkai Bando. Thank you. Hmm. What is going on? Deeper, I say. That's not a kiss. That's not a kiss. <laughs> Your turn, let me solo her. Flavor cherry. Wait, I don't have to go here. What am I doing? <laughs> nice knowing me? What do you mean? Bro, real talk. Real talk. There is, there is absolutely no way that can get me banned on Twitch. I've seen streams, all right? I've seen them. There is, there is no way that is against TOS with what's going on right now. Zero chance. If, if I'm suspended, I will literally call a lawyer. <laughs> Crazy legs with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome in. Thanks for that brand new sub. Please tell me what that thing is supposed to be. This is an Elden Ring shard. This is, this is a shard from the Elden Ring when it was broken. That's what this is. Supposed to be. But, I don't know. It looks like a dildo to me. <laughs> there are not many people on the planet who, who can say they have a, a legitimately a licensed from software dildo. Not many people. I think there's like three or four of them. I know, I know Bar I haven't I haven't I haven't seen Barb comment since I shown it. He's probably he's probably in his chair right now just screaming that he he didn't get a dildo. I need, I need clothes, I need money. That should be enough money. Still cool regardless? Oh, I am. 
I am not mad. Like, don't don't mistake me. I'm not like upset that they sent, let me solo her a sword, and they sent me a dildo. Like, I'm really, I'm. I know it's kind of sounds like I'm I'm envious, but I've I've said this before. If they sent me a sword, I'd cut it in half and throw it in the garbage or sell it. This, this, I can get years of content out of this. I'm not being sarcastic. This is amazing. Why is it clear? <laughs> Years of OnlyFans content. Listen, hey, you never know what direction the channel's gonna go in. You never know. Hope you sanitized it. Bro, it's been in my ass. That's sanitization enough. E. coli is as clean as it gets. Please. There's no E. coli on that. What do you think? This is lettuce? Oh, I have no more uh, whatchamacallits. it's. Oh, well. You are the greatest bearded man on the internet? Well, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You did let me toss your salad the other day. Mitch, are you confusing your reality and dreams again? Wait. Oh, there's just a ladder here? Whew, fancy. I tuned in, sent my resubscription notification, and watched you kiss a rubber wiener. My day is much better now. I think it's silicone. This is a boss? Still better than the Elden Ring dungeon with three of those crystal jumping people. <laughs> Screw the Crystillions. You forgot about those? I'll never forget. Like, I thought they were so cool looking, but they were so like, it was like the most basic, simplistic enemy in the entire game. And when we were playing Dark Souls 2, didn't we find an enemy that basically sort of like did the same thing? They kind of just stole it from themselves. You were hoping Elden Ring would have something similar to Chalice's? Yeah. We were just talking about that. You missed it. Oh, dude, I forgot the thrust, the thrust damage with this weapon is just insane. You want to be thrusting things. All right, Leia 2. What is your favorite weapon in Bloodborne? The Kaz Parasite. Straight to the ladder we go.
Still playing Neo later? We'll see how much time we have, man. It's business gone on a long time. Yeah, we killed Defiled Watchdog. This should be Red Jelly. Yeah, buddy. What kind of gems do you need for the Cause Parasite? You need, like, beautiful arcane ones, man. You need those arcane gems. You'd be so I promise he ain't playing Neo. You'd be surprised if he does. Hey, just to just to prove you naysayers wrong, I'm playing it. Watch. Oh, uh, was I not supposed to jump down the ladder? My bad. Oh, he's got a body as a weapon. My favorite variant. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> now all of a sudden chat loves Neo. Listen, one person in chat asked for it. I, I don't think that constitutes the entire channel loving it. You love that enemy? My f one of my favorites in the whole game. They're so creepy. So how do you enjoy the Holy Blade? It's too slow, man. But this has been a fun run. Like with the cosplay and everything. At least I look kind of cool. I'd watch you use a calculator. Bro, I, I was the best snake player on my TI-83 Plus Silver Edition. Frack. You know what? I'm fighting this guy straight up. Oh, now you've gone and done it. Abhorrent beast, meet the blood god. <laughs> you couldn't even beat me last time in human form. How could you expect to beat me in god form now? Oh, look at your little sparkies. <laughs> you know what I call a dog? Sparky. Your magic's like a puppy. Weak. But kind of cute. Scooching. Oh. <laughs> Hit him with the big scooch. Oh, that's a long arm you got there. Damn. That's a real long arm. Ooh, he scooches like me. Run at him. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, he's sidling. He's angry. Look how angry he is. Wait, how did that hit? You don't have the distance. Oh, I forgot to bring fire paper. I wanted to hit him and burn him. Whack him. Whack him good. Scooch, baby. There's a big whack. Nobody whacks harder than Jesus. Ooh. Big whack, baby. <laughs> that visceral damage. Playing it strong. Go drink a cocktail. Yeah, does that even work against him? No, he's not that stupid. Oh, but he's stupid enough to get staggered. Ha <laughs> ha! You want me to whack his bottom? It's not your mother. She's the only bottom I whack.
Oh, that was a beastly move. And I dodged the back swipe. And I dodged his blowy attack. You can't give me a blowy without consent. Who do you think you are? Oh, God. He blew me. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That's what you get for blowing me without consent, you stupid demon. Demons these days, they're just, they're just out of control. You can't trust them. Unbelievable. All right, bye, guys. MG Scar with the KO Ken times five gifted subscription, hitting me with a sub cannon straight to the solar plexus. You goddamn legend. Thanks for the five gifted subs. I appreciate the hell out of that. Thank you so much. Mirage's Worlds with the three-month Twitch Prime as well. Best god in the Pantheon. You know it. You know it. Okay, that should be enough. Let's get five Beast Blood pellets too. And maybe some extra blood. Layer three, baby. Sandman seems legit enough. You enjoyed the first episode? Good to hear. Does anybody know with the Sandman series, does it follow the, the graphic novel or does it do its own thing? Your wife said it does. Reasonably closely, okay. That's good to know. It seems pretty close to the first volumes. So, like, how far into it is it? How far, yeah, how far into the graphic novel is the TV show? It goes through the second. Sends Fortress. You enjoyed the first two episodes a lot. You're a big Sandman fan? Okay. Why are we yawning? I gotta go up the steps. Up the steps to the right, doorway right, quick doorway left. I didn't realize, okay, I understand what I, what I meant. There we go. Switch should be right to the right. Nice. Navigating. The navigator. The pilot. Her favorite. You went to a comic shop for the first time since your childhood felt like a kid again? I don't even know if there's a comic store near me. I used to go to MC Comics. They used to, they, they had a big comic book section, but I went for the magic cards. They had binders and binders of Magic the Gathering cards. And then Friday nights, they would do Friday Night Magic. I'd do that all the time.
You have a place by you called Tate's Comments. Comet? Comics? Com woo? I don't know what words are anymore. My bad. Magic's legit. You just got into magic yourself, been having a blast. Listen, I've wanted to get back into magic, but it's just so expensive these days. I thought I had it. I framed. Not that time. Your wife knows where your legacy decks are in case you ever get kidnapped or ransomed. What goes up must come down. What goes in must come out. That bolt abyssal though. Magic sadly keeps getting worse, but your life committed, I understand. <laughs> I get it. Johnny Risk with the 16-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks so much, Johnny Risk. Uh, I don't need any more of that. I could just get some more levels. All right, so if we've done everything correctly, there should only be... No, dude, you, oh, I can't believe that. You gotta be kidding me, man. Where do I get the other pearl slugs from? I forgot. Where are the other pearl slugs? I know there's one in Bergenworth. That's where I got that one. But there's there's like two more somewhere, and I forget where. Oh, I forgot where. Pearl Slug. Fextra Life, get the frack out of here. Up there in Upper Cathedral Ward. Where in the Upper Cathedral Ward? I totally forgot about these, I need them. Yeah, where is it, though? I think it's next to my copy of The Last of Us 2. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm running ads for that. Frack you. <laughs> Near the blindfold cap. Where the frack is that? Oh my god. I did the shortcut. How 
I was like, oh yeah, I probably opened up this door. It'll be right there. This music creeps you out. I play this music like when new people are coming over my house. And then I dress up as 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 one of these guys and It's a sexual fetish. Didn't know you could do that at the ladder. Oh, he could suck you even on the ladder. He's actually really good at sucking you on the ladder. Real, real good. There she blows. Whatever. So you're telling me you're sucking new guests off? Depending on the, the, the size and appearance of their dongs, yes. I, I don't want anything to be lost in translation. Got to be big and juicy. I needed more arcane haze, right? I don't know how much. Twenty five. We got it. Cool. Look at that. Perfect on the items. We only we only forgot a thing or two today. Not bad. All right, this will be the last chalice we do. Then we have just a few more DLC bosses, Garmin and Moon Presence, and then the game will be over. <coughs> That's actually not true. We have one more chalice after this. I totally forgot about a chalice. We have one more after this. This is a pretty late stream for you. Eh, they all should go this long. The only reason they don't is because they get agitated or something. <laughs> Wait, what? Wrong way. There we go. Izzy has the best aesthetic, but worst bosses. Yeah, this, this chalice is all about the lore. The cosmos, of course, right? Usually get the notification that you start streaming right as you're starting work in the morning and now it's supper time and you're still going. It's great. I, I, when I, when I get into a groove with streaming, I do pretty long streams. That's not the door. Where's the door? Where's the door, bro? Wait, who put the door? Oh, it's right here. Okay. You love this chalice? It's, dude, this is where it all started. It's all the mushrooms' fault. Look at those spores infecting you. Door to the right, down steps? What? 
down steps. There we go. There's my ritual blood fives. Okay, now we go back up. All the way back up. Up the stairs. And then up these stairs. <laughs> Bob then weaved. Hold on. Oh, there's like a... There's like an invisible door here, right? Yes, there is. It almost got me. <laughs> Give me the suck. I did it on purpose. I just wanted a little bit of sucking. It's Inst with the 53-month resubscription. Thanks, it's Inst. Have you been? Man of Pontos with the 16-month back-to-back Twitch Prime subscription. Thanks, Man of Pontos. Give me the lamp. Open door left. Let's go upstairs. Dong! Pontos, I'm gonna steal that. Go right ahead. <laughs> Kill me, come on. Yeah, eat me. Eat me. Eat me. Kill me. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. Feast on my undying flesh. Dude's not even looking at the game and is evading everything perfectly. Just blood god things. Thanks, man. I've play, I played this game enough. <laughs> Sometimes I make it seem easy. Sometimes I make it seem hard. Oh, oh hold on, man. I think I forgot something. I, I did think... I... Down the stairs now. I think that's the ritual blood. Yeah. <laughs> Decaying Reaver with the 12 month resubscription. Enjoy your golden aura. Enjoy your big black Z because you have ascended. Thanks for the whole year of support, you legend. One whole year. Thank you. Boss room, boss room. There we go. Well, we got a pre-boss room to go to. 
Door to the right. Ritual blood in the chest. Door to the right. Damn, look at that ass. Your landlord said it's impressive that you did that. Oh, I missed the first message. <gasps> that is... Mm. Got him. Dark over with the 12 month resubscription. Enjoy your golden aura. Enjoy your big black Z because you have ascended as well. Thanks for the year of support. What kind of build is this? Pyramid head from Silent Hill. Love that broadcaster voice. SWAT Physic with the 22 month Twitch Prime resubscription. Almost there. Thanks, SWAT. Dude, he's just hanging out. Celestial Emissary sitting on his ass, waiting for the Blood God to come into the room and kick him. Oh. <laughs> oh, how the turntables. The Blood God is the one to get kicked. <laughs> Crotch stagger. Crotch stagger. Ugh. Ooh, Smokey Joe Jackson. Where have you been my whole life? Dude, this is the hardest boss in the game. Seriously, both Celestial Emissary fights today have been ridiculously OP. What does he even get? What is that noise? Prod shot. <gasps> Woo! There we go. That arcane damp blood gem. That thing is damp. Are these things named with stars cosmos? Because people gen Yeah, it's 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 all confusion. Like you 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 think that it's the stars in the cosmos. It looks like it. The, the cosmos is one, but you're, they're just misinformed. They just, they, they see it, but they don't understand that it's, it's, it's mushroom spores. <laughs> the cosmos is a lie. The whole game is based off of mushrooms. It's not, you're, there's, no, there's no aliens. There's no outer space. Nobody, no, no spaceships are coming down. This is what infected people. Mushroom. Mycelium spores. Cool, I have enough. Demon Souls is the first Soulsborne game. Then Dark Souls. Then DS2. Then Bloodborne. Then DS3. Then Sekiro. Then DS4. That's a nice boulder. So Mikalash was just a drug addict? Listen, everybody in Yarnum is, is addicted. Our hero Jack with the 32 month Twitch Prime resubscription. 
thanks so much, Jack. How have you been, dude? Sinister. Look, the cosmos, of course. Look, it's the same stuff. Madman's knowledge. You literally see the cosmos spores that are, are the fungus that is growing inside the skull. You can literally see it. It's right there. It's the same. This way. So all the blood stuff is just craziness? Uh, no, like the, 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 listen, the, the, the mycelium, the mushroom is actually making you stronger. It seems like, you know, it, it is granting some power to you through the blood, through the sluggishness. My queen! My queen has rejected me! <laughs> what explains the moon presence? What do you mean, what explains the moon presence? Have you played the game? The player character... Destroys three umbilical cords. The doll turns you into the slug. You become the next moon presence. What do you not get about that? The moon presence isn't from the moon. It just seems to be. It's not actually from the moon, though. <laughs> no spaceships. She did not want you today. It happens. I'll just find another mom. Scooch! There we go. Dude, okay, I'm just being stupid. That's it. Dumb Zeus. Dumb Zeus is dumb. She do be like that. That the the charge. If she does it super close, man. I got I got a double roll. It's my fault. I didn't double roll it. That was a really nice fight too. Oh well. Dead. Oh, wow, really? The shield saved me. That's the only reason. F 
Frenzy Blood. Don't let that hit you. Wow, two head lowers? Okay. She felt bad about killing me last time. That's the only reason. And we got another abyssal gem. I, lo I love the abyssals. It just sounds cool. Hardest boss in all Souls games? I still think if you are to equalize damage output on both ends, player character and the boss. I think Orphan of Cause is still the hardest boss to do consistently at a top level. All right, just need 25 Arcane Haze. Just give me one or two minutes, guys. I'm just gonna, I gotta go let the dog out. I'll be right back. Alrighty then. Back to it. So we don't actually need to worry about any materials in this dungeon because it is the last dungeon. So we just need to go to the switches and then kill the bosses. Hey, Toonami, how's it going? Oh, Jesus. Hey, Dwadob. <gasps> what is she doing?
I forgot the Humpher. Mm, this is actually going to be tough. Damn, I can't get him on the uh, on the cross bag there. Dude, I want to fully buff. Come on. Let me buff, bro. It's Dragon Ball Z. No! Uh, how? Okay. I just I just don't understand how bosses hit you when they're when they're you're they're completely in a different direction going in a different direction. I don't get I, I get I get it. He wraps around, but that's ah uh, no that that's just wonky. I I don't agree. I disagree. Use parry against him. Okay. Use parry against him in the Pyramid Head cosplay. Yes. Pyramid Head uses a gun, right? Self-respecting people with the pyramids as heads use guns. I forgot he could throw them. Our hero, Jack, with the 200 bits. Thanks so much, Jack. Hazel Rink with a 29-month resubscription. Thanks, Hazel. The Marian Descendants sucks. This boss does not suck. <laughs> I think this boss is difficult, and that's what makes people think it sucks. Mega Zoom with a 10 month, no, the two month resubscription. Thanks so much for that. 
Glad you're enjoying the channel enough to resubscribe. Uh, where did I put this chalice? Here. You know it, Chapel Dweller. You know it. Is one of the pain in the ass bosses. I'll agree there. He's a pain in the ass. But it's one of the reasons the chalices are great, like you said. Damn, that sucks. That was a lot of damage I missed out on. Damn it. That's not the item I wanted. What the? What the guts get rich? What the the dupes get rich? You don't scare shit up, bro. Skin get rich. You know that, but that don't don't that. Don't skin me, I've got those CF top, bro. Can you call him? Give me a dear, dear, call him! This boss sucks! You were right! I don't I don't know if there's there's anything more BS than this dude throwing his show tells through the freaking columns. At least make the columns break when he does it, so I'm like, oh, he threw those through them. But no, it just it just didn't even register as a hit on the columns. Snazzy Lazzy with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome in. Thanks for that brand new sub.
still alive. Oh, I thought he was dead. Whew. Close one. You think it's complete madness to do this boss without parrying? Yeah, he's, a, he's one of the more tougher ones without the parries, that's for sure. Do you think it would be possible to make the Bloodborne randomizer make chess randomly mimics? Uh, I'm sure it could be done. Do I know how to do it? Nope. Later, Brighton Day. Thanks for watching. Excuse me. Have you done a Legarius wheel run? Many times, yeah, I've done it. <laughs> He's way easier without locking. More interesting now. <laughs> fearful queer with a sixteen month resubscription. Thanks, fearful. Someone's getting brutalized. The worm! Scotty too hotty, baby! Oh, Jesus. Pretty sure I just sliced his ass in half. Needed to be done. Denanant, denanant. What is this boss's name? Jerry. Ugh. Jerry the Bloodletting Beast. Is there any weapon you haven't done a run with? Yeah, I haven't done a torch run. Because that seems boring as hell.
You got to go to bed now, unfortunately, but it's been a great first stream to watch. Wish you luck. Hey, dream of the beard. Hope to see you around again. Have a great one. You were playing Bloodborne and your file got corrupted, yet nothing backed up. Hey, you, you got to back up your files, man. You just have to. Sucks. But, honestly, you should start Bloodborne from the beginning again. You're fine. Perfect. Even backstabs using a fist do good damage in Bloodborne? Yeah, but there are, there are a lot of um, things that you can't backstab, like Lawrence or something. How many unique bosses do the chalices have? Well, they're okay, so let's think about it. There's the undead giant variants. There's the merciless watchers. There's watchdog. There's the forgotten madman and his escort. There's Thumerian descendant, Thumerian elder, Yarnum queen, bloodletting beast, headless bloodletting beast. There's... Um, what else is there? There's Keeper of the Old Lords. There's... <laughs> Abhorrent Beast. It's 11. Yeah, like, I don't know, 15? Something like that? There's a lot of them. I'm gonna get stuck. Yeah. Wow. Two shot from the queen. Okay. Just wasn't ex just wasn't expecting that. I, I don't know if I've ever been two shot by her before. Not having a chest piece is, is making it do extra damage. So did the chick give birth or what? Okay, so basically there's there's as far as I can tell, there's two reasonable uh, events that have transpired. Either Yarnum Thumerian Queen herself was imprisoned and impregnated by Udin and stabbed the baby inside her belly to kill it so it wouldn't come to term. Or she was impregnated by Udin, imprisoned, and the baby was stabbed for her. Either one of those. I, you can't tell which one it is. I think because of... I think it was the second one, but I, I can't really prove it either way. It, it's just, it's conjecture at that point. But it's definitely something horrible, at the very least. You think the child of Udin is dead? No, it, it's, it's called a nightmare. Murgo? You, Murgo's, uh, Murgo's nightmare? Jesus Christ. I tried iframing that. Yarnum Stone is basically the dead Murgo. No. No. That is not true. Yarnum Stone contains the Queen's consciousness, not Murgo's.
How did that hit me, man? What is... Dude, oh my god. I am tired. I am tired. You thought you had some idea of Bloodborne's lore, now you're confused again? All right, knuckle down, kill it. Oh, dude, now I have no more materials. Come on, man. You think Vadi has the best lore vids? Please, Vadi literally steals his lore from other people and doesn't credit them. Which is what exactly what he did with Bloodborne. Mentioning Vadi's Bloodborne vids in my channel are not gonna, they're not gonna be, it's not gonna be responded how you think it's gonna be responded. Yeah. Liter literally plagiarized from the real Bloodborne lore people and, and, and made a boatload of money. <laughs> Do I have anything to sell? Oh, I have more Madman's Knowledge. That works. At least now he credits? Yeah. Mo most of us learn that uh, plagiarizing isn't, isn't okay in high school, though. So. Not exactly going to pat him on the back for it. Lower Loran, where's where is the one that I'm going to? There we go. Ignore and support who you like is much better than canceling. Cancel Vadi. <laughs> if Murgo died preterm, does his being formless affect that? That that's what that's what I'm saying. That him him being killed literally in the womb of his mother is what creates the nightmare like it's it is that is a nightmare and that that's with the 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 combination of arcane magic and and beast blood and superhuman mycelium and all of that stuff it 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 allows murgo to literally become a formless great one an infant great one and create an alternative plane of existence out of nothingness that's the nightmare. Frack me, man. Use the goddamn items you just got, bro. So is the moon presence Murgo? Definitely not 100% now. I'm dead. Give me the blood, wench. Oh, no, I'm dead. Frack, dude. God damn it. Deranger with the 53-month resubscription. Thanks, Deranger. 
This fight is crazy. Never seen it. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. The real question was Garman banging Maria? No. He wanted to, though. You love how this boss music contains the cello from Ligarius? Yeah, it's the Thumerian theme. It's consistent for all Thumerians. Isn't there speculation that the doll was based off Maria? Not speculation. Her, f her form. She was literally created to, to look exactly like Maria. Or as close as possible. Ah, uh, her ass is too big. Dude. Pregante! Dude, how? How did he- Dude, that was a grab on the first squeal! That was cheating! Dude, he's grabbing me on the first squeal. How's he doing that? It shouldn't work like that. Damn. <laughs> she murked me. First stream and you're loving it? Your name is KSD? Bro, I'm not gonna be able to remember that. You gotta change your name if you want me to call you something different. <laughs> sober day with the 52 month resubscription. I think sober day. First stream two, enjoying it? Hey, I appreciate it guys. I definitely do. Oh, he's lying? This is his second stream? Unbelievable, Mitch. Stop chasing me, you stupid invisible baby nobody likes you nobody wanted you to be born nobody Murgo <sighs> you can't trust anyone on the internet anymore it's a sad state of affairs I 
I don't know, dude. Honestly, I, I have no idea why I'm dying so much today. I'm sorry, guys. I just, I'm just bad at the game. <laughs> I'm just bad today. This this run has gone on like three hours longer than I intended it to today. Three hours. I'm trying. Not a backstab TM. At least we get good headbanging music. I'm coming back later. I'll I'll kill this boss last. I can I I'm coming back later. I'll kill it last. I need a break from this boss. What was that? Uh, dude, honestly, I just didn't roll in time. Like, I, I deserve to die, but I'm just, I'm just frustrated now. I'm just frustrated. Get clapped. Hey, I, listen, I, I admit that I'm sucking. I admit it. This is not how I like to play games on stream. I admit that total suckage is, is, is happening. Do I not have any insight? Frack me. Pew six, see you later. You know full well this why this is happening. You neglected Bloodborne for all the other Souls games for two weeks. She's a woman scorned. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. And that and that literally is is the queen of Bloodborne, right? So it makes sense. It makes sense. She might just be perturbed that I, I wasn't trying to fight her last. Maybe that's it. Dude, have I really been streaming nine hours? Guys, we're not playing Neo today. <laughs> we're not, we are not playing Neo today. She wants, yeah, she wants me to save the best for last. I actually really like that boss. I think it's awesome. I just, I, you know how she's two hitting me and killing me? I, I, I think she should hit harder. Like, cause she's two hitting me only cause I'm not wearing armor on my chest. If I put on if I put on armor, she'd probably kill me in four hits instead of two. So I like that she she hits harder right now. She's yeah, she's a fun boss. She's not overly difficult or anything. Obviously, I, I just lost ten times in a row to her, but she she is a fun boss. Oh, dude, I'm two levels too high. I'm so dumb. How am I two levels too high? Who's next? 
Maria. Oh, I was wrong. It's not Maria. Lore yeah, Lawrence. Lawrence of Arabia, British Beatlemania, Oh Miss John Gen, Liston Beats Patterson, Pope Paul, Malcolm Max, British politician sex, JFK, blown away. What else do I have to say? Sorry. Anytime you say a line from that song, you gotta you gotta you gotta just go at it. You wanted to give up video games after that, boss? <laughs> Does the lore explain why the queen is attacking us in the dungeon, but is a friendly NPC in the main game? Well, first off, the dungeons are recreations of, of things that happened in the past. They are not direct recreations. With that said, she is in a dungeon, imprisoned, when you come into the room with a big giant sword and you're like, yeah, let's kill. So it, it, ma it makes sense why she doesn't really trust you because you just, you just sort of meet her the moment like, like right after she was stabbed in the belly because you can see that like she was literally stabbed. Murgo's still inside her. There's blood dripping down her. Like it's, it's gross and nightmarish, but... That, that's, that's what the game is. I'm cheating. That was too close? Eh. Any interest in fighting the dual shark heads? Not, dude, like, normally I'd be down, but I've been streaming nine hours, and honestly, I'm just trying to get the run done. Uh, ask me next time. I'll be, ha I'll be happy to. Good hunter, thanks for the hundred bits, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. 
Scooch. Oh, I went the wrong way. My, my fault. I am the master, Orphan, Bader. The master, Orphan, Bader, baby. Back to back, Bates. Give me one more. Nah. Game didn't want to cheat me. Can you pose? Yeah, sure. Do the do the uh the un 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 unstoppable lightning attack. Do it. Hurling gumballs now. Woo! Oh, I disagree. Oh, he almost killed me there. That was pure greed. I'm God, though. I'm a freaking God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. Point blank range, you're hitting me with gumballs. Oh, you have a little bit of a stumble there? You have a little bit of a stumble, Orphan? <laughs> He's actually a rabbit. Easy. That's the hardest boss in the game, huh? Well, I just beat him first try. I must be the best player in the world. Ah. Sweet child, of course. Returned to the ocean. A bottomless curse, a bottomless sea, accepting of all that there is and can be. He's easier than Yarnum Queen? No, I'm just, I was just sucking against Yarnum Queen, and I was actually trying against that boss. No, like, I was literally, like, I was just, Yarnum Queen is not hard. I was just being stupid, man. That, that's all that, that there is to it. Just, I was just being dumb. Um, I do need, I think, one more umbilical cord. So let's go get that. We'll fight Garmin Moon Presence, and then we'll go fight the Queen. Three bosses left. Love your stream, Zeus. Nice seeing Bloodborne get this much love. Keep up the great work. Thanks, Miss Jackie. And thank you for the bits, too. Perhaps Neo tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be playing Neo, like, on the ends of the streams. Don't worry. This, this, this run just, it just went way too long. We had, we, we had that, like, two-hour conversation in the middle where I, like, kind of did nothing for a while, so. See you around? You're going to go to sleep now? Philip, dream of the beard. Sorry you came around before. You don't remember? Actually, you know what that was, Philip? Now, don't take this the wrong way, but uh, me and your mom actually go way back. And we were fooling around. Your computer was there. I, show, I showed her the Twitch stream. That's what it was. It wasn't actually you. <laughs> See you later. Hope you come back. <laughs> Ooh. 
Wait, you don't have to go to the next new game cycle after Flora? No, I'm the blood god. I do what I want when I want. Why is your name Jesus Here's Toast? Why is your name Gandalf Cheese Toes 1775? You go first. Unfollowed? He might have. You never know. Some people don't don't like it when I bang their moms. You never know. Hey, old man. <laughs> I'm a god. Jump on that noodle. Hit her in the face. Hold on. One more facial. A facial by James Harden. That was my favorite basketball call ever. <laughs> who was, who was, I forget the guy's name. What was it? Was it Bob? I forget his name. But he, lit he literally said, A facial by James Harden. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was, that was a few years ago. Mar yeah, Marv. Not Bob. Marv Alberts. Yeah. Best call ever. <laughs> Best call ever. Uh, was it up here? Was it no, it was down here. Way down below. Way down below. Sounds like something Marv would say. <laughs> Yo, Jude Phoenix with the 12 month resubscription. Enjoy your golden aura. Enjoy your big black Z because you have ascended. Thanks for the whole year of support, you absolute legend. Thank you so much for James Harden facials. I appreciate it. I do. You think Elden Ring will have another Souls-like with guns? You think Elden Ring makes another Souls-like with guns? Oh, okay. oh you meant FromSoft. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know, man. I really don't know what they're going to do. If they're going to do more Bloodborne or ever or whatnot. I mean, if they, if they do another, another Bloodborne game, sure. But if they don't do a Bloodborne game, I'd say probably not. Sub only cam? I'm, I'm, one day I'm going to have Johnny only cam. 
You're, you'll be the only one to see me. That's it. You freak. <laughs> You can't get me, you stupid baby. Oh, the baby can get me. Oh, how did how did I miss her? She's too good. Dude, that that it's so big. The rump. Do you see the size of the rump? the last attack What the what the pachi at the end get it get brought it the front get yo brought you no yet yet brought can is yet that the nickel do it yet a brought yet in yet in your net how it's unkillable Do you know how Moses makes tea? He brews it. <laughs> I like that one. That one's good. Frack off, you freaking game. Dude, she's not, dude, I can't kill her. I can't, I can't. I, I can't. It just, it, this boss is impossible. It's, it's unkillable. You're going to laugh at that, but not all my comedy. It's, it's past nine hours, Mitch, all right? I'll laugh at anything. I'll laugh at anything. My brain's not working. My 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 muscle coordination is is down by at least 75%. I have no idea what I'm doing or why I'm even still streaming. There's no point to streaming this long, but yet I'm doing it. I don't know. <laughs> Stop hitting me! You oh my god! <sighs> I 
novice uh, guys okay you you're new to the channel you're new to the channel let me explain something to you we have an emote called dfep dfep death for entertainment purposes which is what all of these deaths have been i'm the blood god i'm the world's best bloodborne player world record after world record world's first no hit run okay let me let me show you exactly how good i am I've been I've been padding content. I had nothing else to do. I just I was I was farming chat for lulz. You want to see me play the game? I'll show you how I play the game. Watch this. Watch this. No hits. At from this point on, no hits. See, I'm good at it, right? Like I'm really I'm really like my timing is perfect. A grab doesn't count as a hit because it's an invisible baby. There's actually nothing hitting me. It's just an invisible baby. Invisible babies can't hit you. See, that was a really tough move. I dodged it easy peasy. You can't see it, it can't hurt you. Exactly. This isn't like an HP Lovecraft game. I mean, that's just unavoidable. No matter who you are. That, that's just unavoidable. You, you can't, you can't avoid that. She's on a roll. Yeah, that was just... You know what that was? That was an ad. I'm running an ad for that. We didn't see that. It was, it was a death... Listen, there's no better time for a death for entertainment purposes after you've claimed that you're not going to die. That, that is a law of entertainment. Claim that something is definitely not going to happen. Ensure that it happens immediately after. Profit. You're an amateur? If I'm an amateur, then why did your mom say I was a goddamn pro all night last night? Huh? She's vi bro. She just vibrated it onto me and exploded all over my face. This baby is dumb. This is a dumb baby. <laughs> I'm still to this day laughing about Zeus telling some dude that it, his mom bum fracked him. <laughs> if I knew it would take this much time, oh, it's not the it's not the build's fault, man. It's it's me. I've just been fiddle, fooling around all day. Is there no other way to avoid getting babied? Yeah, you just don't attack her. You just don't attack her. That's all you need to do.
the sheer perseverance. All right. I feel like the novelty has worn off, so I'm, I'm actually going to kill her this time. Now she can't see me. See, this is focus. We're not we're not laughing. We're not even using buffs to prove how superior I am. No joking, no nothing. Just pure amazing hitless boss fighting. Not a single hit will be taken in this entire boss fight from now on. Starting now. <laughs> I'm so good at this. All right, it's headbanging time. Ha <laughs> ha! Wrapped around that booty. That didn't hit me. That doesn't count as a hit. It was uh, improperly animated. Improper animations don't count as hits. Got her there. That was pretty good damage. Pretty big. Definitely, definitely impossible. Definitely now now I'm, this 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 boss is borderline impossible. I, I can't even um can't even admit to anything beyond that. That's just that's just just it's impossible. You can't kill this boss. Yeah, I'm I'm actually never ending the stream. I'm never ending the stream. I'm I'm waiting for some more Twitch Prime subscriptions, some gifted subscriptions, some bits, anything uh, before I actually have to uh, leave here, we're we're just I'm just I'm just literally yeah it's it's basically a subathon at this point, <laughs> just a subathon. Twenty four hours of this boss. That's what we're doing. Twenty four hours. So strap on and strap in. Mr. Sprinkles with the gifted subscription. See, there we go. Now I might be able to beat the boss. That's how that works. You're just tilted? I'm not even tilted, man. Not even tilted a little bit. It just, it's just not working. I don't know. It's just not working. I don't know what to tell you. Every single time I go to kill them, they just kill me instead. Every single time. 
pay to win. The stream is definitely pay to win, without a doubt. Now, I only have 11 blood vials, so we're going to have to kill her. Away from me, you stupid baby. No wonder I'm dying. That goddamn that goddamn thing does does seventy percent of my damage in one hit. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. It didn't even do that! It hurt, I heard nothing! There was no baby screaming! It just did that! I'm murdering you. Oh yeah, teleport away! Teleport away! What's the lore behind her? My dude, are you literally asking for ass lore? What? Bro, I can't win! Can't win. It's impossible to win. It's, li it's impossible to win. There, there is no amount of winning that can be done. Jazium with the hundred bits. Thank you. It's literally unkillable. Joe Sismikowicz. Joe 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 with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome in. Thanks for that brand new sub. I'm not broken, I'm pretending to be broken, Scottish Geek. Unlike other streamers who need to be good at video games, I am amazing and better than them, and I pretend to be bad. That is how my channel works. Is my weapon broken? Yes, that's what it is. It's broken. Okay, makes sense. Chapel Dweller with a gifted subscription. Thank you, Chapel Dweller. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Dude, she just like cuts me in half with that thing. Won't ask about any ass lore? Dude, I'll give you the best ass lore if you ask for it. I'm, oh my god. Jen Lou, thank you for the 100 bits. I actually, I have no idea what's going on right now. I've, n I've never lost to this boss this many times in totality. Over seven years of playing this game. Never. Never. I have died more today at this boss than in seven years of playing the game. I'm not, it has nothing to do with rust. It has everything to do with this game cheating. <laughs> you stupid baby. With an ass that big, how is it possible to miss it like that? How is it possible? Is that is that why Kim Kardashian broke up with Pete Davidson? He couldn't find her ass? Stop grabbing me, you stupid invisible baby on a different ulterior plane of existence! Stop it! Stop hitting me! Yo, Timberland! Thanks for the brand new subscription, man! Glad you're enjoying the channel today! It's a real good show! 
The baby grabbed me before it even screamed. Before it screamed. How does it grab before the cry? It cries, it cries again, then it grabs you. But no, sometimes it just grabs you and then it cries. It's a great game, Bloodborne is. Amazing mechanics. Scoochin'. Don't, if you grab me, I swear to God. I swear to the God. I swear to myself. Stop grabbing me! How, bro? It's not possible to do this. It's not, it's, it's, it's not, it's not possible to do this. I, it is, Im, it's literally impossible. It's not something that can be done. No wonder. Hidetaka Miyazaki's here memeing me. No wonder. Hidetaka Miyazaki himself is here. You know what is going on, Zeus? I am here, It makes, it all makes sense now. It honestly all freaking makes sense. Literally, Hidetaka Miyazaki is in Japan in his little man cave pressing the little red button that makes the RNG go insane in this fracking game and it's the only way that he could kill me and he does it purposely he stays up late he goes without dinner his mom spanks him but he still does it because it's what he likes to do god damn it Miyazaki hope you've been well You insatiable wench. You want to know power? I'll show you true power. You wanted to fight me? Well, you're gonna get a fight with the Blood God in one of his more superior forms. Oh, crying babies. I eat crying babies for breakfast, and I think they taste really good. So come on, Murgo. Come to my plate. And watch me as I devour you, just as I devour your mother. I'll devour you both at the same time. I'm not above it. In fact, I'm below it, while she's riding me on the top. Yeah, Blood God style. Give me that ass. That's a fat ass. <laughs> oh, swing and a miss. I baited. I baited just because I wanted you to plunge into my rectum. Give me the bull paper. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? You're hiding, aren't you? Ooh, little pregnant lady, thinking she can't fight. Yeah, yeah I know you can fight. Just because you're pregante doesn't mean anything. You can fight. I'm going to make you fight. Yeah, put it through your hand. Put it through your hand again. Do it. Yeah, she didn't do it. I knew she wouldn't. The baby, the, the stupid baby again. No, 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 no. Stupid spikes in the ground. Who put those there? I did. That's why they didn't hurt me. I knew about their location. Ha <laughs> ha. Booty slap. Boom. Oh, you got blood on your hands? Where did the baby even come from? Excuse me. Excuse me! The baby grabbed me illegally. Officer! 
Officer, I've been assaulted by an invisible baby! No! Ha ha! Ha ha! No! I was on a roller coaster. <laughs> That was a big drop. <laughs> that was a big drop. Woo! I got an itch. Yo! Well, I think this boss is actually impossible. It's, it's literally impossible. It just, it just can't be killed. There's, there's nothing I could do to, to kill this boss. It's, it's, it's just, it's just how it is. It's just, there's, it's fine. Some, you win some, you lose some. That's how it is. I think this is the last attempt. This this is the last one. Juice Mang with the 53 month resubscription. Doom Slayer, thanks for the 100 bits as well. Wait, my was my my weapon is actually is it's been broken the entire time. You see that? It's 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 been broken. Definitely 100% broken. That's why we're dying. See, now we're gonna repair it. It's fixed. Now we'll win. Now we will win. This, this is going to be an easy win here. Definitely an easy win. We're gonna do twice as much damage. We're going to, yeah, she's gonna melt. Literal meltation is going to happen now. Not melting, meltation. It's different. It's an entirely different, different physical process. Is she the last boss? She is the very, that's why she's the toughest, toughest boss in the game. I was going to say, don't remember her being that beefy. Yeah, she's got the beef. It's what's for dinner tonight. Queen Yarnum's ass. Arby's. See, lots of damage now. going great Woo. this is a good game Woo. man i'm having fun you guys having fun this is good this is a good way to spend an entire day right here one boss yeah mm-hmm we're we're having fun today
All right, good first phase. That's the pregnant one. What is getting me here, brats? All right, phase two done. About to initiate headbanging time. Scooching, best scooches in the business, boys. No! 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 Run away! I'm not scared. I'm not scared of the boss. I'm pretending. It just got me instantly. It cheats, dude. It cheats. Ah! Why are you locking onto the dead one? Why are you going that way? Ah! No! No! I'm not falling for your dastardly tricks, Murgo. Stupid invisible baby. What rapid poison from what? I'm killing you. I'm killing you. I was playing the whole time. I told you! <laughs> yes! Put it in and put it out. Put it in and put it out. Put it in and put it out. This is what I'm doing with the queen right now. Putting it in and putting it out. Yeah. 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 Do it. Yeah, you like that queen? Yeah. Yeah, you like that? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> Whew. Okay, we did it. All the bosses. One stream. I hope you enjoyed. I didn't. I didn't. Mm. I'm sorry I made you suffer this much. Yeah, well, the least you could do right now is is donate 500 gifted subs. That's the least you could do for making me do this. 500 gifted subs. <laughs> I had fun. Thank you, dude. That was in incredible. You're right, it was. was incredible. Thanks for the thousand bits. You're broke. You're sorry. No worries. I wasn't even talking to you. Who who are you? What? what you you were not who I was talking to. God damn it! All right, I'll be back tomorrow. God knows what game I'm gonna yell at tomorrow. I have no idea. I hope you guys enjoyed the Bloodborne today. <sighs> No, I'm not doing Neo. Get out of here with Neo, bro. It's been a 10-hour stream. Frack Neo.